Oh, is it just us now? <clears throat> I guess so. That was there was no warning. But but it, but, it, but it's still the same. But this, this it's still the same view, right? Yeah. Uh, you see my screen, right? In Zoom. Yeah, yeah, I see your screen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hey, Carlo, how does it feel to show up to an event and be like, my fate is not in my own hands? <laughs> mm, well, it's, we we've done a lot of this over the years. This this feels a lot like hand and brain to me. I know it's a little bit different, of course, but it feels pretty similar. So I'm I'm pretty chill about it. I, uh, I mean, it, it could be worse. After all, I mean, I threw away Title Tuesday by hanging a base at Fork. So, I, I mean, luckily, you you would have seen that Fork that I missed against Min Lei. So, can't be any worse. I I yeah. Today I was gonna do the two Title Tuesday on this, but I it was too much. So instead, I did mm -hmm. my taxes. So okay, cool. I paid them. Yeah, but okay. I was going to make some joke about tax and how nobody actually does it in April and everybody gets an extension, but I'll, this is, this is not a, this is not an ad for turbo tax. So we'll, 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 we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> All right. We got a, we got a game. Um, mm -hmm. It's you, right? Is it, are you Gotham? You're Gotham trust. Why, why is it not showing the board correctly for me? One second. All right. Eric played E4. So play do i have to say the move or not uh well we could i mean it depends like if you want to we can go down a Karo Khan or we could play whatever you want one second i'm just trying to get it up so people can see the board so obviously i can't show your screen so that is if chess.com lets me oh great chess lock oh do i have to go to events or something oh this is so so scuffed um all right well i guess just play uh just just push upon to like c6 i guess yeah, this is because they're on a delay, aren't they? So like, they, I can't watch a game in live chess. This is uh, so... Try this. I c let me see if I can. I'll DM it to you on sure. Slack, maybe. Does this work? Or Discord or whatever. Can, can yeah, see? Fine. Did you okay. get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Let me see if it actually works. Um, let me see. Work? Nope, it doesn't work. This is so messed up. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Okay. Uh, enough okay. enough fooling around um okay so yeah c6 9 3 d5 so so what am i allowed to say or not say since i just played nice you could say three. anything i mean i uh what okay. what's 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 the line you want to play de or bishop g4 or um i mean what do you what do you what do you like i mean it's more about you than me because I, I obviously can play any of these lines i mean it's more like what's going to be interesting for you than me uh what's gonna well i know you like g6 i don't mind g6 but no i mean g6 here no i mean I mean, you, you got to play, you got to play like HN, of course, which is Bishop G4. Yeah. Yeah. We can, that's, that's, the, yeah, yeah. Um, we can play the professional variation. Dude, this is so bad that I think I'm just going to take one of my games and pop, pop it up and make random moves without with no evaluations or lines or anything <laughs> on. This is so okay. bad. Okay. So yeah, because basically I, I can't show your screen to chat. Um, obviously. So, um, yeah. Yeah. What did they play? Uh, H3, Bishop F3, Queen F3. You want to go Knight F6 or E6? Um, I would probably play Knight F6. Okay, this is the this is the Jordan. Yeah. We're playing Jordan stuff against them. All right, Knight F6. Um, I'm better if I can ever find the zoom again. There we go. Okay, yeah. This is so funny. Well, we're the first people playing in the event who are also streaming our games probably, right? Right, yeah. So... All right. Um, let's see how much time they've got. Nine forty. Yeah, I mean, all, all this is very basic, right? I mean, th this is what Hans played against me. I think, if I'm if I remember correctly. So. Yeah, Jordan. Uh, I learned this like Knight F six G six concept from from a Jordan game at some point. Okay. Mm -hmm. G six or E six? What do you want to go for? Um. Well, I mean, I played G six. It wasn't this exact dish. I played it in one of the Gibraltars many years ago. I, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. What do you like more? uh we could if g6 is fine here we could go we could go for g6 yeah i mean it's it's really up to you yeah if you, if you like g6 more then let's just go with g6 let's well, go g6 i mean it's an opening lobby i mean literally yeah. like come on like i i mean i look at chessable courses that are done by people whose ratings i think are lower than yours and i'll still play their opening so i mean oh yeah in the opening uh, it doesn't matter it's like two thousand. you know i don't know i don't know about two thousands but like oh they're, 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 there are people who are like 1900, 2000. Yeah, it's, it's, um, do we take on E4 here or do we play D4 or E6? What's the move? Um, yeah, in this position, let me think about this. Yeah, I mean, probably, 
I don't know. I mean, e6 feels like feels like the right approach here. I think d4 is generally wrong if you if you play g6. I think when you go e6, d4 is reasonable. But I think mm -hmm. I, I think in the, when you've gone g6, you're not you're not supposed to play d4. So I'd probably just play e6 here. I see. That makes sense. Yeah, d4 and also white can start with some some attacks. I'm always just worried about this knight on f6, but I guess there's no way to exploit it because d4. Yeah, I mean, d4. If, if they go d4, bishop g7, and then you take on e4 normally. So I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, my chat's telling me that you should just play until I say the move isn't good. So just just play the moves. <laughs> I don't think that's the way this works. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I think it's probably fair though. It's the opening. I mean, you can't do that. I mean, in an opening like this, you can't do anything wrong, really. Oh, you 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 just you just you just watch and sh watch and see, you know. I mean, you you actually can't though, because what are you going to play? C five or E five? Are you going to play B five or what? No, I'm going to go Bishop G seven. Ah, yeah. So again, you can't do anything wrong. Yeah. So, so okay. Um, yeah, dude. I, uh, I, you know, the kids are gonna refer to this as glazing, but uh, mm -hmm. sometimes I watch you play these G six Karo Khans, and it's like magic the way you just completely. Yeah, I mean, evil. if you if you get the D four Knight F six one specifically, where you get the double pawns, yeah, I I play those all the time. Those are those are pretty fun. Those those tend to work out pretty well. This is like. This actually might be similar to a game I had against Daniel in one of the title Tuesdays. I forgot when. I think I've had this against Daniel. Maybe not this exact position, but something very similar a few times. What percent of your title Tuesday games do you like actively remember? I mean, none, basically. I mean, I'll, I'll oh. remember. It, it's like, I mean, it depends what you mean, though. It's the context. Like, if it's something that happened during, um, like, during a very specific game that was important, then, oh, they played Rook D1. Okay. Yeah. So, how much we, time do we have? We've still got plenty of time. Yeah. 840. Uh, D4 is still Anything's not good. not a thing, yeah. I mean, D4 might be a thing since they played Rook D1. I assume they want to go back to like B1 and A3, though. If I had to guess, I mean, I don't know. I, th I think all moves are all moves are decent here. I can castle I if you. Yeah, I mean, all moves are decent. Like you, you can't play a bad move here. I mean, D4 is probably fine. Like castles is fine. Uh, we got like ten thousand people watching. I think they can play a bad move. Yeah, probably, but just do whatever you want. Oh, I don't know about that. All right. Well, I would play knight bd7. It's completely fine. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. A little worry. No, you look. You look at bishop g5 and e5. You start getting a little scared. Yeah. That's fine. You just go h6. That's fair. Fair. It is a. Uh, it is a resilient position. So, um, do we put the pawn on a6 to get all the pawns on light squares and unlock like a chess.com accomplishment? Or do we just leave, do we play a5, a4? Oh, if you put all the pawns on light square, wait, is that like a Rosen score or something? I don't, I have no, I'm just providing content for whatever clips are going to get cut out of this event. Yeah, no, I mean, but, but, but like you, you could do that. You could play a5. I mean, everything is good. A everything is good here. What's a what's a standard middle game plan here though? Because like I get here and now I don't really. Um, like... I mean you can obviously play very boring with D takes E four and then just trade in the center of the board and just kind of play the position. I mean you can also maybe go B five possibly. I mean I think most ideas though revolve around trading on E four. Almost all the ideas you just trade on E four and you try to be very very solid here. Okay, but I could be wrong on that. But oh. I think I think I think that's how it works. Ah. Now the question is, do we play a5, a6, or do we do nothing? Or do we take on e4? Um, again, it's... I mean, this is really, really basic sort of weird stuff. I would say... I mean, I, I think both moves are fine. You can take or play a5. I mean, this is just a very boring game, if I'm being honest. It's just not really super exciting. I mean, if you want it to be simpler, you should trade on e4, if you want it to be simpler. No, but I don't so... think there's anything wrong with a5 either. I mean, no. maybe the point with a5 is that if they take on d5, there's some knight b5 maybe, but... I don't know. I mean, I, I I don't really care that much. I'd probably just play a five. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Um. And e five is nice for us, right? I mean, e five ninety eight, and we just maybe. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's the point. Is with a four a five now they move the knight to e two and then c five c three or something. I mean, but this shouldn't be that bad. There's always f six somewhere, so I think it's completely fine. Yeah, I was gonna say when we played a five and. Now, if we go for c5 stuff, they might get a knight to b5 and d6, but mm -hmm. our knight is always going to e8, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is, just, this is like, way too proper. Way too proper um, of a game. It's, like, something I expect to be playing against, like, a 26, uh, 20, 2600 guy in some, like, serious, like, classical tournament. So your, your next Bundesliga trip? 
Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't play this with Black in, in that situation. But you wouldn't play still. this in the candidates. The Karo Khan? Yeah. Karo Khan's fine. I mean, no one's going to play this for White, though, either. Because for White, this is very slow, very boring, and it's not super... It's not something that, that you do when you want to be aggressive. Like, everybody who's playing the candidates... Oh. Um, they went to H4, play. so... Okay, H4. Aggressive. Yeah, so, so now, now, of course, yeah, now you just trade everything on E4 and play like a Russian schoolboy. Yep. Uh, what would the Russian schoolboy uh, play? But maybe, may, maybe you should take him with the knight. Because they might be able to move the queen. Okay, they, they don't even move the queen. They just take, yeah, so trade it all down. Mm. I don't know, knight f6 is fine. I mean, yeah, knight f6. and But the knight's not... Oh, we can go to d5, I guess, because c4, knight, b4. Yeah, yeah, because now they... Play... I mean, white's never going c4 anyway, because even if they go c4, they create the weakness on d4. So queen e2. Should we play yeah, h5 or knight d5? Eh, I don't know. I mean, you can play h5, or you can also just go queen e7 and rook d8. I mean... It really depends what you want. I mean, I, I have a feeling h5 is wrong, like just structurally. I have a feeling like queen e7 and rook d8 and just like double up the rooks. And I mean, white can't do anything. Or queen b6 is also an idea too. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, probably queen e7 or queen b6. I, I think it's basically a fielder's choice. You just pick one and they, sh they should be completely fine. All right. Well, I'm always going to default to more active. So if you give me an yeah. active idea, I'll play it. Uh, yeah, so now I've put something on d8, of course. Yeah, rook d8, bishop g5 is not scary. Yep, very good. Yeah, this is very boring, because we're going to run out of improving moves, and then we just sort of have to sit there. Well, that's a, but it's the same for them, too. They can't yeah. do a whole lot either. Yeah, I mean, they're they going just, for they h5? I mean, I guess they're... I mean, you can play h5 here if you want. Yeah, I mean, just play h5 or just do something. Yeah, I mean, I, I think h5, no, but I think you, I think you kind of have to do h5, because they get h5, h6, you're, you're in a little bit of trouble. So mm -hmm. I, I think h5 is correct. But yeah, it's the mm -hmm. same thing. I mean, you stack the rooks, and then it's on white to do something. And in a blitz game, you just start dilly-dallying, moving the pieces all over the board, wait for your opponent to get low, and then, then of course, you do something and you win. But, but in general, I mean, this is, yeah, this is just not, I don't know, this Mate. is what I would expect in a serious game. Yeah, of course, you know the next couple of moves or plans. I would, uh, I would go knight d5. I would, uh, knight d5, queen c5. I mean, again, well, like, what's wrong with just rook d7? I'm just like. Well, it was going. either knight d5 or rook d7, so I, uh, you know. I, I would go. I, would, I mean, knight, knight d5, queen c5, queen c7 is also completely fine, though. So. All right. I'll double. Rook d7 fine. Yeah. I'll double. I'll double. I was going to say knight d5 or rook d7 because we don't have mm -hmm. any other move, so. Yeah, but the great thing here is that, I mean, you could play this game without me because they're literally, you just sit and wait here. You put the rooks on a D file and you wait for white to go C4 or G4, and that's all there is in the position. That's hey, it. I could, I mean, I could definitely play the game without you. I don't know if I would not lose, but I can make the well, moves. Yeah, because, <laughs> well, because, I mean, one thing that, like, the... The, like the top players have learned because they, they they study a lot more for these top tournaments is that like you once you use stockfish enough you basically learn that you can just do anything you can play a random move doesn't have to be good doesn't have to have a plan you just play some silly waiting move and there's nothing wrong at all so like in, in general like that's one of the things top players have learned from from like stockfish is in, in, in a lot of positions you, you don't have to do anything at all you just wait but it's very hard for like players at your level and maybe like even weaker gm sometimes to just sit on the position and not have an active plan it can be very tricky to do that so, like, let me ask you. I want to play rook d8, but then I'm like, is bishop g5 a concern? I mean, rook d8, bishop g5, then I just move the rook to c8. I mean, that's I why I, that's why I've said boring probably a hundred times already because there, it's just it's on them to do something interesting. As long as you don't actually hang a piece, it's you're you're not going to lose the game. All like, right, rook d8, all rook right. c8, or something. Um. Yeah, but see now, now what? I mean. Knight d5? Like, now yeah, I want to play... No, no, but, but, but now what for them? I mean, they, they have the white pieces. They have to prove it. They played the boring line in this Karo Khan with knight c3, knight f3. And um, it's on them to prove it, not us. I mean, we're, we're, they're, they're the guys with the white pieces. Like, this is a psychological thing. But that, that's why, like, when you play with black, if your opponent wants to play boring and not be very exciting with the white pieces, then that's fine. Just, you know, just sit, make the draw, and move on. So, rook e8, king h7, rook c8... Probably not king h7. I'd probably go rook. I'd probably go rook c8 because the one idea they do have here is to try and maybe go rook e5 somewhere. Maybe okay. I'd probably just play rook c8 actually. Okay, rook e6 doesn't work. So nope. you know. yeah, like on bishop g5, you can always go knight d5 potentially. Um, you can also just play like queen d8, queen c7, and as long as you don't don't allow something to happen on the king side with g4 or sacrifice, we're completely fine. 
Is knight d5 and c5 ever an idea? Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it unless unless white provokes you. Okay. Because then you're just if you play c5, you're just opening up a diagonal. And you're also opening up the d files. Well, that, that's why like these positions, it can be very annoying to play against them with the white pieces because um, you really want to be active. And if your opponent just sits here in a solid with black, it's very hard because the only thing white has are pawn breaks. There's c4, b4, or g4. There are very few pawn breaks in the position for white. Okay, so I mean, I could just go rook d8, rook c8 until they get bored. Um, in a way, yes, you could. I mean, I probably wouldn't do that, but you, you could. Because the only plan that white has is to try and go g4, maybe try and put a rook on e5 or something. But again, very, very hard. Very, well, very, then, very hard for white to prove anything here. Yeah, so then, but then what do I play if not rook d8, rook c8? Like, like rook e8, rook c8, queen d8, queen b6, queen c7, queen b6. Okay, queen c7. You're not worried about like bishop f4? Queen b6 back, what's the big deal? So bishop f4, bishop e5, like there is nothing okay, scary, right? Two. Yeah, so here, I mean, as long as you don't hang a rook e6, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, yeah, I'd, I would probably hear, I mean, knight d5. The only problem with knight d5 is there's always a g4 idea. So yeah, rook e8, bishop g5. I'd probably, as long as you don't hang rook e6, like maybe rook f8 here, maybe just rook d8. Rook d8. Okay. Maybe not rook dd. I mean, I kind of don't like that. I All guess, right. yeah, the, the problem is they're threatening rook e6, so you can't go back to c8. All yeah, right, if I I'll were playing here, here, yeah. I mean, if I, if I were playing here with the um, with the black piece, I'd probably actually maybe put the queen on c7, because it no longer does anything on b6 since the pawn is guarded. Like queen c7, and then, then at some point knight d5, so on g4, there's always a knight f4 trick. Okay, so queen c7. Yeah, I mean, rookie six looks. I mean, it's the only idea they have, and it doesn't work. So, right, and we're we're up on time, so we're doing completely fine. Yeah, the scramble is going to be the worst part of this. So we kind of want to. I would rather have two minutes on the clock than ten seconds. So well, it's very easy. I mean, the, really, the moves that you have to consider here are so limited. Like king h seven is a move, knight d five is a move, queen b six. Like you literally are just sitting and waiting. You're sitting and waiting here. Um, to to basically wait, they, they have to come up with a plan, so you just move quickly. And, and as, as in situations where players get really low on time, um, it's much better when your moves are reactions to whatever your opponent does than when you have to come up with a plan. You'd go to b6 here? Or d8? Yeah, sure, why not? It's all the same. b6, d8, it's all the same. It, it actually does not matter whatsoever. Because uh -huh. like even after bishop e5, you just go queen d8 and, and then knight d5. Okay, yep, that's good. Did they just make a repetition? They did, right? Yeah, they went to b3 with the queen. So what? Um, I mean, maybe here you've just got like king h7, maybe. Yeah, I'd go king h7 here. Yeah, because bishop f6, bishop f6, g4, just, uh, I mean, that will will be better there, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. If they, if they open up the king side, will be better. The, the only way they can be better is if, they, if you move the knight and they get some g4 and they're able to capture the bishop. But I still, I don't think it's really all that special. Yeah. G4 doesn't actually... No, I mean, G4... Even, yeah, like, knight D5... It's actually really hard for them to get G4 with our knight being on the board, so... Yeah, I mean, there, there's also some, like, uh, Slav structures. Maybe not Slav, I'm trying to think. There's some other... There's some D4 openings, too, where you get the setup where you... Or no, not D4, sorry. I'm thinking of the uh, Scandinavian, where you get the same setup where you get, like, C3 and D4 versus E6 and C6 structure. I'm going to go to D8. Right? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. I'm gonna go to D8. Yeah, yeah th this you have to be careful. You go to C8, maybe there's some queen B6, but still, yeah. really not scary. But yeah, like there's some Scandinavians where you get the same pawn structure with C3, D4 versus C6, E6. But generally, th these positions are just very, very annoying to play with white. Even though white's supposed to be a little bit better, it's very hard to come up with any specific plan. Uh, if bishop E5 can... Do we the bishop just... e5, I would play knight e5. Okay, that so trading the dark squared bishops is nice for us. And, well, yeah, because basically if the dark squared bishops come off the board, then white doesn't really have any um any way to break through. Like it, there's actually yeah. no way to break through yeah, then. You can even it. just put the rook on h8 and sit. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, as they play okay, knight e5, of course. Just go for it. Why not? They'll probably play queen c2 here if I had to guess, but you still just go king g8. I mean, there's just nothing white can do here. Um, okay, I'm not playing queen b6. Um, queen, s yeah. queen c7, rook h. I mean, rook h, is rook h8 necessary? It might be, because there's some bishop h5. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't work, but 
I mean, here I'd probably just play queen c7, honestly. Queen c7, bishop h5, gh, what was the calculation? Rook g5, rook g5 mm -hmm. king f6, and then you run back. Uh, you, you were just saying, like, there might be queen d1, and so you just go to f6, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could also just play rook h8 here as well. I mean, rook h8 is also completely fine if you're afraid. Like, you just go, but, like, you can go rook h8, knight f6, and queen c7. Yeah, I'll be solid. Bishop d5, cd. Cd5, cd, uh, yeah, cd, and, yeah. yeah, cd, and... Okay, queen knight c6, queen c7. I mean, okay, what's the idea here for white? There is no idea. So, I mean... I, I mean, I, I would probably just play queen c7, queen d8. I know it's really cheesy, but I think it's completely fine. Okay, and rook e6 never works. Yeah, you just take and then go knight f6 blocking. Yeah, yeah. No, the main point here is, like, I think, like, it's important that we move fast. Because we can really yeah. put the pressure on them. Because they because they have to come up with a plan. Yep. Um, and it's not easy to come up with a plan here. Wow, and... <laughs> or wait, did we allow C4? Wait, did I just actually get a little bit sloppy? Is there a C4 here? Probably C4, Knight F6, Queen C3, Queen B6 so should still be fine. But that actually is something we have to be careful about because I just I just noticed it. We do have to be a little bit careful. Knight F6, um, you'd play? Yeah, I think I, I think I would play Knight F6 here. Just be solid. Don't do anything exciting. I mean, the only question is: Is there anything that's misplaced here? Like, I mean, the Rook on H8 is fine. The Knight on F6, of course, is great. The Queen can and we, the Rooks are fine. Can we move the Rook from H8 now that the Knight is on F6? I mean, it's obviously possible. The only thing is, where is the Rook? I mean, maybe there's a Rook B8, B5 idea maybe down the road. Maybe. <laughs> but again, there's there's no need for it in the situation. Yeah. Like, really, we should just be solid. Wait for them to make a big blunder. Okay, Queen C4. I mean, even Queen B6, again, is completely fine here. I just, is I, the, the idea of Queen C5? Is that like... But then you trade, because here with only bishop versus knight at camp, well, maybe. Maybe that's an idea. I mean, I'm also wondering what's wrong with just knight d5, honestly, again. Like, knight d5 looks completely fine. Yeah, I was going to say I would, I, would, I, would, I would just put the knight on d5, and until they force you to go away, like, there's nothing they can really do. Uh, queen c5, we play... Just queen c5, just queen d8. What's the big deal? Because c4, knight b4 is always a problem. Like, if they ever go c4, yeah. they weaken the pawn on d4. That's, that's the big issue, I think. Queen d8, Let me think c4, one knight. Queen yeah, c5, yeah. queen d8, c4, knight b4. I mean, or knight f6. Yeah, I just play queen d8. I mean, I just, I just don't see a plan for them, basically. Queen d8 is a tough move to, like, I'm always, like, thinking I got to trade the queen, relieve the pressure, but, yeah, it's... But there is no pressure here. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Well, for a top three player, there's no pressure, but uh, it... it... It's not pleasant to play this with black, I gotta tell you. Well, but I mean, that, that's that's what I was saying earlier. Queen c4, just queen c7. I mean, that's what I was saying earlier about like top players using Stockfish a lot. It's like, once you use the computer, you just learn that anything anything is fine. Like, you just, you don't have to be special at all. Like, it, it, it's like, it's hard to play without a plan, but Stockfish shows that you can just do pretty much anything. And it's on your opponent to prove it. And, and also, they, they have the white pieces. So psychologically, at least, it's much more important to them to, to try and win the game than us. Like, they, they're the, it's, it's on them to prove something. White is supposed to be better Queen than us. Queen d8? Knight f6? Yeah, why not? Queen d8. Just, just why not? I'm just trying to remember where the repetition was. Like, mm, mm -hmm. But okay, whatever. I'll play queen d8. The last time the queen was on e2... Oh, we had this... Yeah, but I guess it'll... Will it auto-claim if it's three positions? I think it, yeah, I think if it's three, it'll be automatic, yeah. Yeah, the two-minute time advantage is nice. Yeah, I mean, th that's why I feel like this opening is a very bad choice, especially in a team situation, because you want to discuss, and there, th there just isn't much to discuss. I mean, I'm sure they're discussing and trying to come up with plans, but, like, realistically, this game comes down to can White play C4, B4, G4. If White can't get one of those ideas or somehow snatch the pawn on A5, there's nothing at all for White. So they're going to spend a lot of time discussing, but we just basically sit on the position and just make moves quickly, and I mean, on, honestly, like I, I know they know that they're playing against me, but like you, you, you could make these exact same moves. There's nothing special in this game that you couldn't do um, without me. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, Knight F I mean, that <laughs> Queen C7 like back, I think. Well, what's the th what is the threat here? I'm trying to understand what their threat is. I'm just I mean, trying to not make a move that does something dumb. So like Queen C7 back looks. But for me there... personally, I mean, what's what's the idea here? If you go knight f6, there might be some rook g5. I mean, queen c7 looks completely fine again. Queen b6 looks fine again. Yeah. I mean, maybe not queen b6, because you have to be careful about bishop h5. But I, I honestly just go queen c7 and just ask them what they're doing. 
Well, Bishop H5, Rook H5, right? I mean, we'll we'll survive. Right, right. No, no, of course, yeah. obviously. Well, no, I Bishop mean, H5, you probably should take with a pawn, actually, because Queen G5, you go King F8. So. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't even have to trade the Rook. Yeah. Okay, but if they play Bishop H, I mean, okay, nah, Queen D8. <laughs> Yeah, I would just go Queen D8, exactly. Just keep yeah. waiting. I... Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, is that it's on them. They have to come up with the idea. And since since I d I'm paying attention to chat, someone like, people are saying it's, I don't want to be here. That's not what it is. I'm just very unenthused by the opening that they played. It's just not something that lends itself to an exciting game. That's the problem. Um, well, I might go Queen C7 back, so... Yeah, I would just go Queen C7. I'm just not trying to get hit with Rook E6 at any point, but it never works. So. Yeah, as long as there's no bishop h5 or rook e6 trick, there's nothing they can do. Queen b3, I mean, just queen d8, of course. I mean, yeah, I we... feel like on some level they're trying to get us to fall asleep at the wheel. But the problem is they're down on time. Yeah, king g2, queen, I just queen, queen c7, c7 again, seven. why not? Yeah. Yeah, they're still down two minutes. No, but, um, I mean, it's match strategy. We just held effortlessly with black, and hopefully we put some pressure with white, mm -hmm. so... Well, I mean, this would work, like, this would be fine to play with the white pieces if we were down to like 30 seconds. Like I feel pretty confident that if I had white here with 30 seconds on the clock, I would probably win this um, in most cases because you create some silly thing like C4, you do something to imbalance it when the time is really low. But that's, yeah. that's not the case here. Um, queen C4, yeah, I mean, what? Queen D8, Queen B6, I'd play yeah, Queen D8 probably. I'm go really Queen matter. D8. I'm just trying to see if we ever had this, but I don't think we did. Okay, I don't. Rook A1. <laughs> I don't know. Queen b6 is probably fine here. Queen c7. I mean, literally. You're not everyone... worried about rook a3, rook b3? What's the rook doing? You still play a queen d8? <laughs> Where's the rook going? I mean... uh, it's a fair point. Yeah, I'd probably go queen b6, though, just to put some pressure on the pawn temporarily. Yeah, yeah. They're probably going to play rook a2. And yeah, then... but I mean, e even if they get the rook to a3, rook b3, the rook on b3 still doesn't do anything. I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, it, it's just, it, it's just, a, I, I know, obviously, I've said it 50 times, but it's just very boring because there's very little to this position. There's very little meat. So, I mean, as someone in chat said, what, what do you want to play with white? Okay, queen well, e2, just sit and wait. Queen d8, yeah, why not? I was going to say queen d8, probably. Okay. All right. Well, they're definitely going to play rook a3. Like, that's, I mean, listen, I, I know my 2650 ELO boys and how they try to beat me in Title Tuesday. They're definitely going to play rook a3, rook b3. So, yeah. And then you just keep waiting. Queen c7, queen d8, whatever. Yeah, normally if I was by myself, I'd poop my pants. But, you know, in this case, I'm, I'm covered. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay, queen b6 back. Okay, are they set on a repetition? Is that, or are they gaining time? I would go queen d8. I mean, there's, oh. because there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it's a draw. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was solid. Yeah, I mean, I just, I didn't like their opening choice. I, I mean, it, it's because it's I, I, I've played many of these things. I, I think I actually won a game against Shanklin in the U.S. Championship with the same pawn structure that was similar. But the problem is, is it, in a Blitzer Rapid game, it's, it's very hard because, like, there, there's no obvious active win. You play, like, C4 or something, the deep pawn's always very weak. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's Everyone some back in five, <laughs> four, three, two, and... Are you there, Levy? <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, what, what, again, like, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want to play? Um, I mean, I've been playing a lot of E4, uh, but we could make No, but up. I mean, wait, 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 which, e, wait, which E4, though? Uh, like, real E4 or kind of E4? No, no, I mean, like, Title Tuesday Blitz E4. Like, I... No, 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 no that's not what I meant. I, I meant, are you playing, like, real openings or are you playing, like, Vienna? Uh, well, if, we, if they play E4, E5, I was going to play your Vienna. I was going to play Knight C3, G3, like... Your, your bishop okay, support. Okay, that's one. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, I just, I meant because I wasn't sure because, like, there are a lot of different ways to play it. So, yeah, e4 is good. I, I like e4. I, I'm guessing they'll play a Sicilian, though. All right. You see that's the game? Well, I'm just, I'm just basically, uh, yeah, I guess I do. Yeah. All right. I went e4. I um, let's see what they do. I feel like they might go, well, I don't know. We'll see. Or oh, are, you, are, you, are you on some delay, too? Because I don't see it on your, on your stream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Yeah, there, there it is. There it, it is. It, it really doesn't matter. Like it, it's, it's, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Well, they're uh, thinking on move one, which is nice. I don't know why they're thinking. I mean, I'm guessing that that probably they're they're thinking about. I don't know. Like maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe like. Uh, just, I, I'm guessing they're they're debating whether to play what? Okay, it aborted. Oh, because they didn't move in time. 
So next game they should start with twenty seconds less, right? Because I mean, yeah. It, what it, the hell is like, that? But yeah, they basically got, no. I mean, next game they they've got to start with twenty seconds less. What yeah, did what? did um? Maybe they didn't realize. I, I mean, I find it hard to believe. But yeah, I mean, that's it. It's over, right? We win. We, we won. won the four bed. We won! Yay! <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Um, okay, Surely no. the game's gonna start again. Right. Are we having server problems? Or oh, ha have you? I was gonna ask you because it's a question. Have you had like a lot of games being decided by flags lately, or not? Uh, I only play about once a week. No, no, so, no, no. But I'm, I'm saying like specifically, I'm talking specifically about title Tuesday. Like, have you like had more flags or not in recent times? Um, no, I know what you're saying though. There's been some server problems. Okay. Uh, I just mean, I've, I've had like probably in the last, like I've played twice, like but in the last three weeks, the last six events, like I've, I, there were a couple of years in Germany last week where like I had time issues and then I've had like six or seven people just flag against me where they've had like three oh. or four seconds and they just run out of time randomly. They win E5, okay, the game. The way. Okay. They win E5. Okay, so E4, E5, yeah. So probably I'm going to guess that we'll follow what you want to do. Knight C3, right? Yeah, I just don't know if you like to start with Bishop C4. Well, no, but the Bishop's opening is much different. Man. Okay. Uh, now, what do you normally... You don't go F4 here, right? You. Uh, I've played play. everything. I've played Bishop C4. I've played F4. I've played D4. I've played G3. I mean, it's really... How do you feel about you. G3? G3, that's fine, yeah. You can... Um, You'll have oh, to walk okay. me through some of these moves because, like, the critical, like, the D5 stuff, I don't, I don't know that theory, but. Ah, you don't. Okay. Yeah. I've had this against Wesley a few times, I think. Um, no, I mean, Vienna Gambit is wonderful below 2000, but it's, uh, it's. Mm -hmm. Black has to know well, what line and. Because you also play the Queen F3 stuff, right? The F4 with Queen F3? That's the one I recommend, yeah. But I, I know yeah. there's D3 and Knight F3, and there's, yeah. I mean, you can... Well, I mean, your, your game against Shuvalova wasn't particularly inspiring, so... Um, no. It's probably best to avoid that. No, no it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> when when you play real players, bad things happen. Uh, Bishop G2, mm -hmm. there's no, like, tricks, right? There's no, like... No. Okay. Actually, what are they going to do? Are they going to play C6, maybe? Is that their idea to go C6, D5? Oh, it's already, already there's some meta after uh, Bishop C5? Well, I mean, because if you if you don't play d5, I think in general, if you... Wow, they're just going to play this one? Okay. I guess knight e2, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a do, do, I do think... not look at me. <laughs> no, no. I was wondering if there's some trick with knight e2, knight g4, Whoa. castles h5. I feel like this okay. is going to be out of the book yeah. of Jordan. Yeah, this is just some standard position they're playing, but this should be very... I mean, again, they're play, I, I don't know. Maybe this is rigged to where they're trying to play stuff where you could play the whole game on your own. Again, this is all so easy. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead and play well, all the moves. Well, is it h3 or castle? Because I, mean, gonna... I, I, I don't think it matters, does it? <laughs> I mean, are they going to play castles h5? Like, is that... Well, I was trying to think castles h5, h3, h4, g4. I mean, if you're really... Then just play h3 first. Okay. Uh, I'll play h3 first. Uh... My, I mean, I probably would do H3 just to just... You're what? My computer oh, is crashing. Your stream just die or something? I see Fs. Yeah. My com what's happening? We back. Hello. Yeah, well, I think we're anyway. Oh, now you're back. Hello? You're yes. Back? Yes. Can you okay. hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Good. That was crazy. I thought I got like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, D3, A4. So yeah, I mean, the question is here do you want to play A3 or do you want to castle? It's really up to you. My instinct is that A3 is a good move. My instinct is A3 is all. Yeah. I mean, it looks sensible. On on A4 well, for. 
Yeah, I mean, because fundamentally, I mean, you, you probably haven't looked, I mean, well, obviously you didn't look at as many openings as I have, but I feel like when you look at openings these days, the computers like Stockfish, they just love to put a pawn on like H6 or H3 or A3 or A6. They just love it no matter what. Um, and I know it's like a some weird spatial spatial algorithm thing or whatever, but I feel like you should all, you should try to stop it if you can. Uh, I I know what you mean. Also, I mean, my my brain just likes the fact that the knight on c3 targets a4. I don't actually, what mm -hmm. is, what is, what was the idea of putting the pawn on a4 for them? Like, I mean, I don't think there's a, I think they want to go knight d4, c6, b5. That's my best guess. Okay, but they played h6. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, that, that's fine too. Castles? I mean, they're, yeah, castles, oh, okay. of course. Castles. Yeah, I mean. King goes to h2? Ah, oh, I wonder if they're going to play g5, maybe. I wonder if they're going to play g5. I doubt it, but maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand what they're doing. I've got to be honest. Because you're right. The pawn on a4 is a little bit weak. They can't castle queenside now. And there's no obvious central break with d5 either. So I, I'm actually really confused. I, I'm really confused by what they're doing. Wow, just castles? Okay. So king h2, f4, or bishop e3? Well, you know, it's, it's been a long time. But I mean, I, I swear, didn't you literally do something about this opening for a box box during the early days of Pog Champs 1? Uh, that, that, was, that, was, that was good times. Yeah. But you're saying that can work here too? I mean, it, well, it's, Bishop E three is fine, but it's boring. I, I don't, I don't want to be boring. The last game was boring enough for me. I feel like All we right. should just like just, just. But the thing is, you go to H one or H two. Yeah, you went to H two. I just wonder if there's like a knight G four check. That was the only thing potentially versus H one. That is fair. I would never, I would never consider King H one because I figure G three needs some extra protection. But I, I have um... a really bad feeling afterwards that if I go back and probably dig that up where you did something on the Vienna, I'm betting you said it was King H one, not King H two. I have a really bad feeling that probably no, you said no, no. King I H1. feel like I would have said King H. Uh, it depends, but Rookie Eight. Wow, but that looks so wrong to me. Is that like? Well, but the problem is now we can't go F four necessarily because after takes takes Knight G four, Queen H four, Bishop H three, Bishop G four. We're losing. That's the only drawback. Oh, I was gonna play F four takes like Knight takes, but uh, if you're saying that's bad, then I won't do it. <laughs> I actually know I don't know if it's bad though. Now, like, I mean, initially, yeah, I kind of thought it doesn't make sense. Like, I feel like F four. I don't know. Is that there probably are multiple ways to do this? Actually, probably multiple ways. I mean, F four. I think is F four is reasonable. F4 is there takes nine to four and eighty four is what I'm wondering about. Yeah, I mean, my my guess here, um, my my guess here is that probably. Um, Probably here, yeah. I mean, I probably would go f4, but that's just me personally. I mean, there's no like f4 bishop g4 crap. I don't think that's that scary. But no, no, no. Of course not. All right, then we'll. Uh... I mean, whatever. We got to go out with a bang, right? If we, uh, we yeah. We I mean, I, I also think after takes, you can also play bishop f4. I mean, I, I the only problem is with the king on h2 that yeah, gf4 is not not um not a move that's the only problem i can't play okay they played knight d4 first okay so yeah so they're doing what i said they would do they're gonna play for c6 and b5 so i mean but yeah i really wish this king was on h1 it is kind of annoying i'm not gonna lie um let me think about so hmm so if you take on d4 they're gonna take with the bishop knight e2 and they're probably gonna drop back i'm guessing something like that um <clears throat> Uh, this, is, this is an interesting position. This is actually sort of position where I really wish like it, this was a classical game of chess. I would really like to actually think for 20 minutes here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I mean, hmm. What are, what are your thoughts? There's not, well, I don't really know if there's a move other than knight takes d4. I mean, I can like... Well, I mean, you can go f5. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you can play yeah. f5. I mean, it's, it's a serious question. f5 is a move that you play if you want to ensure that the game is decisive. But I F5, mean, if you want the game to be decisive, I would play f5. f5, c6, G4. and then, yeah, just g4. I mean, it's what you do if you want the game to be decisive. I have a feeling it's not right, actually, but I don't know. It, it's just, it, it's it's really your choice which sort of direction you want to go. Whether you want the game to be really, well, really aggressive. Let's not fall like behind not. too much on time. So let's say knight d4, bishop d4, knight e2, the bishop goes back. What's our move there? Is it? Is uh, it... Probably if I play bishop d2, bishop c3. It's more of a positional approach. I mean, wait, there's would... another. Wait, 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 wait a second. Mm -hmm. Can you take on d4 and play knight a4? Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh and c3. Yeah, I'm wondering bishop if you can d7, do that. d7, cd, like bishop e3. Then 
Yeah. I think it's actually good. I, but I see. I don't know if they're going to take with a bush for the pond. Yeah, let's they could just take with the pond too. We, we'll yeah. just say because I don't want to. Six minutes is already, and I already. Yeah, just, I mean, you're right. You're right. That's true. And you disconnected because New York uh, doesn't have enough money for good. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that. That was really weird. I. I that usually that almost never happens. Yeah, I got. I got that. Uh, actually, am I? Should I say what service provider I have? Because can I like? Can I, I don't no, know. no, they can't do anything unless unless you have the actual IP. It can't do anything. I got a uh, got that FiOS. Mm. Yeah, be... mm -hmm. Okay, pawn takes d4 looks very wrong. Unless yeah, Black fundamentally it is. Yeah, but they're using time, which tells me that they realize there's knight a4. By the way, because this is not a spot where you start thinking. This is not a spot where you start thinking. So they realize there's something off. Yeah, knight a4, rook a4, c3. Um, that looks really bad for them because if they drop the rook mm -hmm. back and cd e d, we're just aren't we just much better? With the two bishops, yeah, it should be great. No, no, I mean, I, that's why they're thinking here, because I think they, they, they just, they missed it. Because it's not a spot where you start thinking unless you suddenly realize something's wrong. They're going to take with the pawn, I bet. But that looks... Can they take with the pawn and then play d5, e5, like go back and play for f6? That looks pretty slow. And we have c3, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, how dumb is this? Ed, knight e2, d5, e5, knight d7, c3, takes... D4, sacking the pawn on B2. Sorry, but say, say, say that again. What were you saying? I said knight D4, ED, uh, knight E2, D5, E5, knight D7, C3, take D4, CB, bishop B2. And then we just play like F5. Yeah, that's it. completely fine too. I mean, no, I, I mean, everything here is great. I mean, no, they're thinking so long as they realize they made a mistake. There they are. Like, this is not, I mean, there are certain spots where there are obvious moves, and the moment someone stops on an obvious move, they're like, uh oh, we did something wrong. Yeah, and now they're debating whether to play ED, which looks pretty depressing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's it's great. I mean, they they just they they just basically forgot, and that's yeah, it happens sometimes. Do they have a move after knight takes a four that's like just yeah? You I mean, know. I, I was th I was thinking ef four, but you just take with the bishop and you play c three anyway. Like uh, that's why I just don't see a good move. You have four bishop. Um, yeah, you take with the bishop and you play c3. I, I'm betting they're going to take with the pawn. I, I just think they're going to take with the pawn because after bishop d4, knight a4, they're going to be in a position where you, where we get the two bishops and they're just worse. I I, I would actually I, I'd bet who, some money on it. Who would talk sense into who? Would Jordan talk sense into Eric or would Eric talk sense into Jordan? Well, it's probably Eric has to talk sense into Jordan because this is not what Eric plays. I've, I've, Eric plays d5 against the Vienna. I'm I'm almost certain I've. I mean, I swear back in the old days when I used to play, I played him in a bullet match. Uh, I think it was like 2018, if I'm not mistaken, where he's played something like 250 games. And, and Eric always played D5 in the VN. He always takes the space in the center. Knight A4, go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. And I was just looking at some f final checks. Uh, Bishop F4? Right. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I think Bishop F4, right? Are we missing something? If we're missing something, you can blame me anyway. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would just go bishop f4. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I mean maybe I'm just missing a tactic, but I really don't see it. Yeah, I just don't see it. I mean, what 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 is what is bishop f4 rook a4 c3? Yeah, I, I legitimately don't see it. I legitimately don't see it. I, I mean, I don't see it. Okay, there's g5, but we just whoa. Rook yeah, a5. see, it's something like yeah. So now now they're now they're in like uh, they're in kind of silly mode. I mean, this might be good, by the way. This could be good. Um, but okay, so what's the idea is what? Rook h5? Okay, so I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a very good move here and they didn't see it, but maybe I'm wrong. And that, and that really... move that I'm thinking about is bishop d2. Because rook h5, there's rook takes f6. Oh, wow. Rook f6. I think it's good. Again, I mean, like I could be wrong, but... <laughs> Uh, now, what about, okay, I'm just trying, so bishop d2, yeah, uh, c3, bishop a7 is just good for them? Well, the problem is then they're threatening then, b5, uh, the yeah, then, then the knight, yeah, then the knight, and if we play like b4, they just go rook h5, and it's, uh, yeah, it's very unpleasant. Again, it's probably fine, but we're down on time, and it's going to be too easy for them to play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, bishop d2 is just me being, me being me. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be pretty unhappy <laughs> seeing that move. <laughs> It's a pretty nasty move. It's a very nasty. Yeah, nasty move. I. That's like. I mean, 
This is like Unless, a puzzle. This is like a 3400 puzzle on chess.com. Like you have to find knight a4, all this, and then bishop d2. And I feel And like... you know what else to add insult to injury? I was thinking about a line rook a4, c3, bishop e5. But after queen a4, knight g4 takes queen a4, king g1, the rook is hanging on ea at the end of the line as well. Like it, it just adds oh, insult to wow. injury. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have like uh, intermezzo, like bishop d7. I guess you always end up going back. Right, so like c3. Yeah, bishop wow. e5. Yeah, c so c3, bishop e5 takes bishop d7. Yeah, but then queen d1, knight g4 takes, check king yeah. g1 and rook f3. It's, it's nowhere near enough. Yeah, yeah I mean, should... Was, this should just be winning for us. Unless there's some magic tactic, this is just winning. Well, I guess they're going to go rook a8, and then the game is going to yeah. go on, right? I mean, or... I, doubt, I doubt they'll play rook a8. It's such a sad move to play. You're just down a pawn for nothing. But then again, like as I was saying before, Stockfish on many occasions has taught us that material doesn't matter. You can just be down a pawn and play normal moves and it's still equal. So it's possible. But, but yeah, what, this, this yeah. is unfortunate. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, for me, it's like an A pawn and, you know, Stockfish will be like, oh, nice. I have an active mm -hmm. rook. So, well, I mean, it really helped me because I'm, I'm sure you weren't, weren't following, but I played, um, but I played in, uh, I, I played in, um, I played in uh, the Bundesliga and I blundered in the opening. I just blundered a pawn for no reason in one of my games. And, um, but what then, like, I, I wasn't following. Of course I was following. It was a, but uh, it, it was, I mean, I didn't have a chance to cover, but I saw, like, it was like an opening uh, move order mm -hmm. thing or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just confused the move order. I was down material. And, and I, but, but the point is that, like, the way that I was able to, like, get over it mentally was just, like, I, I was thinking a lot about, like, stockfish in their positions where you're just down a pawn and it doesn't care. Two pawns, doesn't matter. Still just play normal moves, pretend you've done nothing wrong, and the game goes on. And that was kind of, like, my attitude at a certain point during that game. It was just like, okay, who cares? You're down a pawn, but you just keep playing, playing normal moves and you haven't done anything wrong. Um, and, and that's something that's very, very hard to do. But again, you learn from computers. There's so many positions where that's the case. We're like, okay, I'm down a pawn, must be losing. And then you see the computer says, develop your knight, develop your bishop. Nobody cares. The material doesn't matter. So is it um, yeah. weird to play a candidate right before you're going to play a candidate? Like in a random, you know, obviously in the Bundesliga, but um, do you not, not care? I mean, generally, I don't care. But actually, because I've spoken about like some of the bigger mistakes I've made in chess, I think one of the biggest mistakes that I actually made was when I when I, I was picking my opponent. I actually played Fabiano in a match in St. Louis, I think, at the end of 2015, um, before the 2016 candidates. And Fabiano actually outplayed me in that match, and, and he won the match quite convincingly. And I felt like off the back of that, he actually gained a lot of confidence and played really well against me in, in the 2016 candidates. So I think that it, it, there are psychological aspects to it. Um, but like this one specifically, I don't think it's quite the same because like for myself, I mean, I'm just playing the tournament. I don't really care. And for Abasov, I mean, I obviously wants to do well, but if we're being honest, I, I don't think he even expects himself to be in the running to win the tournament. So uh, it, it was kind of a little bit weird, but I don't think it has the, the overtones of like a lot of the other, a lot of the other things, um, you know, a lot of the other matchups that, that would have a big thing. That, that makes sense. That it, a, a, a boss of, I feel like is one of the biggest, oh, they made a move. Um, yeah. I was going to say. So now under the question is knight c3 or yeah knight c3 is just winning isn't it or am i missing? yeah i was I just mean... gonna play knight c3 but yeah why not well i don't see anything else i mean the alternative is yeah. c3 d4 but no, no then they're gonna sack the rook with rook e4 for sure yeah yeah that's... i mean but the thing is after knight c3 you're threatening knight e2 because bishop b2 rook a2 probably wins material that was gonna be my question where are we where are we like if they play c6 but you're just saying yeah knight e2 yeah that's brutal mm -hmm. well Wow. Yeah, unless they have a trick like maybe c six ninety two, there's some bishop g four cheese maybe, but I still I'm I'm very skeptical. Well, can't we just play it. like even queen e one and just mm -hmm. yeah take 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 rook a two bishop d four. I mean even okay d five. Yeah, okay, that's that's a logical move. That makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, so let's see. So if we take on d five, there's bishop c three. I'm guessing. Um, <clears throat> okay, we go ninety two. They're gonna play what exactly? Ninety two. Bishop g4 maybe is the idea. I can see that. That that actually makes some sense. Do we have um, rook f6 there? No, bishop b2. No. Okay. So let's let's not spend too much time here. I mean, this is a tricky spot. Um, knight 2 bishop g4, bishop f4, rook h5 looks kind of messy. Uh, yeah, this is this is tough. Um, okay, but there's no actual threat for them either, right? So how do we do this? There should be some way to unwind this. Do we have knight b5 or is there? Knight b5, bishop b6. Um, is there something terribly wrong with bishop f4 is what I'm wondering. 
Like Bishop F4, Rook H5 probably is unpleasant. Okay, we just got to come up with a move here. So if, if I were playing here, I would actually probably just go Queen F3 just to keep it really, really safe. Queen F3, um, Rook H5, Chief, no. Queen H3, Rook H5, there's just Knight D5. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would go Queen F3 and just like lock, Queen F3, Rook E1, and if they find something, they find something, but I just don't really believe it. But that's just me, of course. I okay, could be wrong. well, it's just you, but yeah, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I, so wow, 92 bishop g4 was, was you think it was working? I don't know if it was working. Well, basically, let me put it this way. This is like a big difference between rap, rapid and blitz and classical chess. In a classical game, I think that I could spend 20 minutes and figure it out. And I bet white's much better. But in a blitz game where we're getting low on time, and this applies to rapid as well, when you're getting low on time, their moves are all reactions to whatever we do. So we're going to end up low on time. If we find the absolute precise moves, we're going to win. But if we don't, we're probably going to lose because of the time situation. So that, that's why, like, there are big differences. Like, I think if this was a classical game, I would love this, and I'd probably spend 20 minutes figure it all out. I assume you just take with the knight, right? Knight, take, take. There's... What's wrong with knight e4? What oh, I see. Yeah, we have... What's wrong? Just take. Yep. I mean, they have bishop b2, but you have knight f6. I mean, we're never going to lose. That's the thing. Like, I'd rather take a small advantage here and be practical about it than try and play something where, sure, if I find 20 good moves in a row, probably we win. But if I don't, we're going to lose the game for sure because of the time situation. Like it's all about the risk reward and and the difference between blitz versus classical. So bishop b two, rook b one, rook a two, or rook. Well, bishop b two. I assume you're trading on f six first. I, I would assume. Um, that that's my assumption. I, I would probably trade first and then play rook rook b one. Okay, so they go there. Yeah, if we don't take on f six, then what are we doing? You have to take. Um, okay, queen takes f6. We would take the right. queen and then rook b1, and then, okay, h6 then is hanging. Two, maybe. I mean, it's not feeling great somehow to me, but wait a second. Okay, we go rook b1, there's queen f3. So I assume, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like making a draw here, but uh, probably we have to... Eh. Do, do you, do you, do, how, 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 how much do you want this to be a decisive game? That's the question. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think I would just take on f6. That's... Okay, fine. Then just trade and make the draw. Yeah, just trade. And I assume go rookie one and probably and just make the draw. Rookie, rook e1. Probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, just play rookie one, take the position down the pawns as a double f pawn and probably make the draw. But that's just me personally. You don't have to. You could play like, maybe you could play rook d1. No, rook d1, rook e2. So what's wrong with rook b1? They're going to get a rook on e2, rook, basically. Yeah, rook b1, they're going to go rook e2. Um, and then, and then what is the question? Yeah, that's that's the big problem. Um, yeah, maybe we should have taken on e4 at the pawn. Maybe that was better, but I still think we're completely fine here. Okay. Um, so rookie one, rookie one, bishop e1, or trade everything. I would just trade everything, go bishop d2, and then play like bishop f3 and bring the king over. I mean, there's really no way to lose that. But okay. if you want to play something else, play something else. You can be the hero. I mean, it's not <laughs> a big deal to me. You want to be the hero, be the hero. I mean, I don't see a good response to rookie two, but, and then, yeah, they just get a rook on c2 as well. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably just play rookie one, make the draw, and then move to Armageddon. But we, we got to move a little bit quicker. Yeah, too, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to give credit to them, though, because it, it, this rookie five and d5 was not easy to find. And, and probably my response was wrong. Probably d takes e4 is better than knight takes. Probably d takes e4 was the correct move, but yeah, that's what it is. Mm. No, rook, I mean, rook, rook e5 was... Yeah, rook e5 and d5 was good. I mean, it spent a lot of time to come with it. I thought it was already close to losing there. Probably it was in a classical game, but yeah, I would just take with a rook and then go bishop d2 and take, and then bishop d2, and then king g7, and just like, I don't know, bring the king over, takes, bishop d2, of course. Uh, they're going to put the bishop on d6. Am I pushing g4 or am I leaving it? Well, first king? first of all, they're going to go king g7. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, first of all, I think put the bishop on f4, obviously. Because now you, now the bishop is guarding everything and targeting everything at the same time. Uh, bishop d... Oh, okay. And I'm now sure. probably I would just bring the king, king king back. Like king g1, king f1, king e2. Yeah. Bring the king back because as long bishop b1, as long as your king gets over to guard the pawn, you can't lose. Because the extra pawn is like a terrible pawn like they can try to put a bishop on e5 but you're never going to trade the bishops king yeah. f1 of course one. at some point you probably should play h4 but probably not say, right away because this yeah. is g4 yeah probably just like king e2 i guess 
Yeah. Mm, bishop d5, yeah. bishop f3 or something. You could even trade there if you wanted to. But yeah, probably probably here, yeah. Like now I, I kind of feel like h4 is a move potentially, but it's really up to you what you want to do. Like probably I would play h4 here. H4, personally. bishop g bishop g4, and I mean there's no just just trade the bishops. I mean. <laughs> I think. I could be wrong. I mean, it's possible I'm wrong on this end game, but I really don't believe it. Yeah, I, now, would, I would course, go king e3. Yeah, of course, exactly. I mean, I, yeah, go king e3. And I assume they're going to offer a draw at some point soon. Or they'll, you know, we'll play another 90 moves and miss the evening title Tuesday. Mm hmm. But yeah, this, I mean, this end game, you, you can't really lose. And also, you, you're threatening to maybe go d4 as well. Uh, yeah. Just to force well, the trade. I mean, if I get if I get d4 and, and a pawn on c5, like, <laughs> we're playing for a win. <laughs> like, right. Well, it's funny because maybe c4, c5 is an idea here, possibly. Mm. Like, no, I mean, you go c4, c5, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. support it with d4. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would be like a Magnus game where it's like, it, it's like you're, you're, you're the one where you think you're better if you're up the pawn, and somehow you're actually, like, defending even though you're up the pawn. Um, uh, I would just play, I don't know, bishop f3, king e2. <laughs> Yeah, I think anything's fine. I don't know about king e2, but... I, no, why not bishop f3? Yeah, to get off the diagonal, I guess. Yeah. I didn't want to allow bishop e1, but there's no... Yeah, there's king no e2? Yeah. No, because also I'm wondering if you should put the pawn on h5 to fix the weakness on h6, maybe. I, I don't know if you should, but it's... Mm. They don't have an idea to play like f5, bishop f6, bishop g5? Mm, I don't know they, they do, probably. But, but at some point, yeah, like, I don't know here if you want to check or not. I mean, you could play bishop e4, probably, if you wanted to. It's not the only move, but it's probably... Yeah, I but I, I, want, I want to stay up yeah. on time. So. Yeah. Uh, King h5, bishop f3, bishop g4. I'm wondering about that end game, actually. That, that might be a slight issue, potentially. But still, after king h5, you can also just go, like, king f2 first, and then bishop f3. Or check and then go king e2 as well. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's for king f2 yeah, yeah. maybe, but. Yeah. They'll probably play king h5. I expect it. Um, I'm kind of wondering, though, we, okay, yeah, I would go back and go bishop f3 and just like, yeah, just sit and wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this. That's probably on me. They're probably they're pro probably D takes E four is better. That's probably on me. I'm guessing. Uh, it was equal. I mean, D E was a touch oh, it was better. Equal. But, okay. Yeah. Ah, because they they okay and go back. So is ninety four not good? Mm, it was one of the moves, but yeah, F, the F five idea. Oh, we oh so what they did was correct. Keep going. Ninety four. Yeah, rook uh, five, four, three, two. Oh. One. Animate and down you go. Hikaru, you obviously have a ton of experience in Armageddon games, but this one has increment. Does that substantively change your guys' approach? No, I mean I think we just play play good openings, good moves, and see what happens. Levy, any final thoughts? Bro, I don't know. You know that meme with all the soldiers and the clown? That's what I am, okay? Stop asking me my opinion. Let, let's just start the game, and we'll all have a great all time, right. and may the best team win. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the average rating here is like 26.50 feet. Like, why am I here? Let's just go. Let's play. Come on. All right. You heard the man. Without any further ado, let's jump into the game. Everyone wants to see this. I'm going to get out of everyone's way. Oh, are we in our own room again, Lovey? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's have a just blast. make sure you the game. Just make sure you the game up. But I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Just have to, have to keep the game going. That's it. They'll make a mistake probably. So. Yeah, they don't have enough time to work out so many complications. I feel like, but um, yeah, that, that's why we have to play something that keeps the um, keeps the game going. Something that where it's just like they, they don't get a quick opening. Okay, here we go. All right, c four. Let's go. Yeah, if e five, I'm gonna play knight c three. Knight knight c three. Knight f three. G three. Is that fine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all good. I feel like we gotta, we gotta move fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are they gonna play? Do, do you, all right. If they play e4, they play e4, then. Yeah, yeah so be it. They, there's no way they're gonna play e4. Okay. I'm gonna go g3. There's no way. Yeah, just no way. No, this, this is very good. Okay. Perfect. Um. But they could play, yeah, they have many options, though, because they could play bishop c5 here also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they do um, it, okay. Castles? You play the, yeah, go ahead, castle. 
I know there's like 95, right? But it's... No, no, just castle. No, no, yeah, no. Play, uh... play castle. No, we have to win this game, so just castle. Yeah, the end game line. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the move here? Is it D3? Okay. No, play queen c2. Play play the line that that uh, helped me qualify. Ah 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 ah! Yesipenko, Yesipenko, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot. There's like. Oh, that's not the move. One. Okay. That's um, the... that's not the best line. I don't believe, but I think it's still I like everything. It's acceptable. I go queen b1 here. Yeah, I was I gonna think. say queen. B... The best line is uh, knight d4, then knight b4, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I mean, because here I think knight d4. There's. Is it the same thing or not? I'm trying to remember this. Um, not sure. I'm not sure. Because I'm wondering if they can still play knight d4 here. But I think it's wrong for some reason. Do you reason. have like knight d1? <laughs> no, I think knight some... I was going to say knight d4. I think you can play knight takes e5. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Knight e5. Yeah, and I, 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 think, I think they just played the wrong order. Yeah. I think they just played the wrong order. I think they confused themselves. I just studied this. Mm. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leak something. Sure. I, ju I just studied this because I'm considering a comeback to mm. over the board play, you know? So, <laughs> All right. Like Brett Favre. But nobody, like, play, nobody, bo nobody below like 2,600 plays Bishop C5. Yeah, that's why yeah. I was frustrated because I was like, I just studied all this stuff and then, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no uh, wow, they okay. did it? Wait a second. Is this? Well, okay, there are two questions. First of all, you have A3, right? So you have A3 or 95 here. Those are really the two options, right? Uh, 95, 95 rookie eight. Well, I was actually, I was uh, E3. They can go, oh, E3. I was thinking the other order made sense. Like A3 takes six, 96, and then like E3 and B4 and everything. Yeah, but you we can also play that. E3 first. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I like, I mean, I don't want to get hit with Bishop F5. So, mm -hmm. but... yeah, actually, E3, Bishop F5 is kind of a problem. So, I mean, if you go A3, Bishop F5, E4, that's just winning, I'm pretty sure. So, I, I, think, I think A3 first has to be right. A3, knight c2, knight... Yeah, okay. The, the knight c2... You have knight d4, right? Yeah, knight d4, oh, wait, knight no, d... Oh, no, but knight d4 is knight a1. Wait a second. You didn't move yet, did you? No, no, I didn't no, you move. Didn't move. Okay. Okay, but can we just play... I'm one... Oh, let me think about it. So if you go e3, bishop f5, knight e4. No, that can't be right. Knight e5, rook e8... Why does this feel wrong somehow? This doesn't feel right, like intuitively to me. It feels it feels wrong. With and what's wrong with ninety one? I assume bishop f five, but there's probably nothing wrong with it. You can actually still do it. I'm guessing ninety one bishop f five, ninety four maybe. No, no. Or d three or d three and a three. Yeah, there's no ninety two. Yeah, I think ninety one's reasonable. Actually, I'm I, I like ninety one. I like bishop 91. g four. Ah, but now you're right. There's bishop g four though. No, you're right. So then e three ninety two. Um, uh, let me think about this one second. Knight d four, bishop e four, bishop three, rook e one. Um, three knight c two, b four, two. We do have to win this game though, right? So well, he called ninety one, bishop g four, a three. No. And, and then knight c six. And then I don't know. Cool. No, you know what I think is right here? I'll, I'll tell you what I think is correct. I think a3 is correct. And after knight c2, I think... No, but b4, knight a1, bc5, there's still knight b3 at the end. Okay, we, we, we don't want to spend a lot of time. Nope, we got to nope. come with a move. Um, knight e1, bishop g4 looks bad to me, optically. You, I mean, we can obviously take and then play... I mean, we have to keep the game going, right? Yeah. If we have to keep the game going, then I think the correct decision is to trade the knights on d4 and just go knight e4 with a3 and b4. Okay. But just because it's very clear they're well prepared is what I'm saying. Like you, The thing in Armageddon, if you're the white piece, you have to keep the game going. So yeah, knight e4 and then play a3 and b4. And now we get the flow. We get these obvious straightforward moves. I mean, unless yeah. d3 works, but I'm pretty sure d3 just hangs the bishop. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just that, saying, like, if yeah. D3 doesn't work here, we get the straight four. We get, like, five, six quick moves, and then we just play chess. Yeah, there had to have been something, but, I mean, it's just so hard. Like, Yeah, like, I would go A, A3 probably. Or wait, 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 wait. A3, Knight, D5. Is D3 a move here? Yeah, I think D3 makes much more sense, right? Or not? D3, F5, Knight, D2, Knight, C4? 
something like that. I mean, they're good after D3, they're never playing F5, but I think you have to finish the development. Right. And if you play A3, Knight D5, then D3 and B4 is never really a thing, I don't think. But the main thing is we just have to move quick. We can't get too deep. You're uh, not worried about the E2 pawn being a bit weak? Oh, of course, of course I am. But I mean, <laughs> what can we do about that? Yeah, I guess. Okay. A3, queen, B4, Queen C2. Yeah, and Bishop B2, something like that. I mean, it's a matter of whether they're going to get F5 in time or not. Um, yeah. But I do think we need to move fast, because definitely the position is not great. That, that much is clear. It's not a great position for us. Okay, oh, H6. H6. Yeah, okay, logical move. Um, okay, let's see. I mean, I would just yeah, I mean, is, is there something? Wait, 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 wait a second. Is there something wrong with just Bishop D2 and then B4 maybe or something? I mean... Because a three ninety five, they're going to play a five next move. That's the I problem. like. I like. Which, I mean, it's getting a piece out. It can't be a bad move. I mean, we have to be careful though, because now the knight can get trapped. Obviously, like f five traps the knight here. Yeah. So that, that's why I was wondering about something like I don't know, like rook c one or queen c two. I mean, to me, optically, queen c two looks right. Just queen c two with rook a c one and rook e one. Optically, it looks correct to me, but I could okay. be wrong. Okay, queen c two f five knight c five. Yeah, exactly. If they play queen, better. if they play queen e seven, that just rook c one. Or okay, so rook e eight. Yeah, it's so rook e one. Rook f e one. I assume. Yeah, I would play rook e one. No, because we always like... have b four. Always have b four knight. This is typical like English stuff. B four a four knight c five. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I like the position actually. I, I rather like it. I feel like our moves are a lot easier. Okay, goes a, they go a5, right? So they're trying to stop the queen side play. Logical. I mean, I don't know. Um, a3, a4, knight c5? Yeah, I was thinking about a3. I, I, I mean, the a3, queen e7. I, no, no, I think just go a3. Yeah, I mean, we got to move quickly. That's what we have to do. We have to keep the speed. speed yeah, I going. just don't want to like play. Like, I would have played a3. Okay, it took 19 seconds. I would have played it in like two in my own game, mm -hmm. but I don't want to play a3 yeah. and hang a piece and, you know. Well, with increment, it's much different. That's the thing. With increment, like, if this was straight up with no increment, it's different because then they, they, they probably can't capitalize on the mistakes. But when there's increment in Armageddon, it's like very, very different. It's very tricky. So, like, because if you make a wrong move, that's just bad. And you, you can't recover. If there's no increment, at least maybe they spend 30 seconds or a minute, they get low on time. Something can still happen. But with increment in Armageddon, I mean, you, you just, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't gamble. Probably we should have bid lower though, because with, with five second increment per move, that's actually quite a lot. Rook A, C1? Yeah, of course. Obvious. Yeah, and I, where are they moving their bid? I assume they're going to go C6 oh. and Bishop G4, but yeah. okay. still not super worried. I mean, I don't really see why this should be so bad. I mean. For starters, there's knight c5. Like, what's what's wrong with? Well, I guess I see they want to go bishop g4 or something. Anyway, um, I mean, we could play h. I, I rather like h3 actually. I think h. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. Yeah, I think h3 is good though. I, I would play because what you don't want to get them let them have bishop g4. Yeah. And if the bishop's on f5, it doesn't create the same threats as it does on g4. King so. H2 is <laughs> like last game or no? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I, I don't think it's it's not relevant because they can't pressure the pawn. Because you put the knight on C5, they lose the queen D7 ideas to to um, put pressure yeah. on the diagonal. Yeah, yeah. And I think bishop F5 is not what you want here. Like you want the bishop on G4. You do. The bishop belongs on G4 in this position to pressure but the pawn on E2. If bishop G4, we would have played H5, uh, H3. So can they play bishop F5, bishop G6? Sure, but then after F5, there's no pressure on E2. <laughs> so. I see. Yeah, like this is where we we have to be smart though, because we're getting to the critical moments. Like knight c five looks correct to me here, for example. Like I think knight c five must be correct. And Unless there's some knight e three trick, but uh, is there some knight e three? No, that knight e three takes and maybe a four. Actually, there's this knight e three problem. Ah, uh, shoot. I still would go for it though. I, I still I would still play knight c five here and just go for it. Knight just C5. me personally. Yeah, right, I, I would just do, do it. it. Uh, yeah. They'll probably have to calculate before they... Right. And, and then just take with the bishop and play f4, and the game keeps going. That's the point. Okay. Like, like, it, like in, in Armageddon games, like this thing, you just have to keep the game going. You have to drag it on and on and on. Okay, I don't like rook d8 now. Now I think you go b4. No, oh, they're just... misplaying this. Now you go b4, and now, now you're going to get b5 and undermine the knight. No, I mean, this is... I see. Oh, was there a knight c6 maybe? Was there a knight c6, queen c6? No, there wasn't. Okay, never mind. Just take with the pawn. Yeah, take with the pawn. I, you see, they, they don't get the queen d7 idea that they really need here, and e2 is guarded. I really 
I'm trying to decide, is the light squared bishop trade here good or bad for white? It's probably... I'm just but saying, like, like if they vanish, then we put our king on g2. It's probably bad for us, right? It's bad. It's bad. Okay. The bishop on g2 is much better than the bishop on f5. But see, if the bishop were on g4 here, targeting the pawn e2, this would probably be a lot, lot better for black than with the bishop on f5. So it doesn't do anything. There's no way to pressure e2 and d3 now. So next is queen c4 and b5. Yeah, or even maybe b5 in one go, depending. But probably, probably queen c4 first. Yeah, see, they're getting desperate. That's what I expected. But wait a second, wait a second, love, because we do have h4 here, maybe. But... I mean, it's a question of whether queen c4. I, you know what? I think we, I think we should just go for it. Queen c4, queen c4, h4, g4, and b5, and just go for it. Just go, go for it. I mean, if yeah, they g4 get a mate on h2, so be it. But I, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. G4 looks nice. Uh, ooh, wow, wow, cool. I mean, just take with a queen, of course. Yeah, that's a very, very strange move. I don't understand that at all. You taking with the rook, right? Or absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Take with the rook on b5, undermine the knight on c5. Okay. Wow, that's such a terrible decision by them. They that's just a pressure. I mean, they, they, they might survive, but that's a huge fundamental mistake with increment to do that. Because with increment, they should have spent like 30 seconds and looked at an h4. Because now they're going to suffer. The game goes on forever now. We have the two bishops, and the game just keeps dragging on and on and on. Yeah, we'll, and they're going to get low on time now. We'll play king f1, put our rooks on the queen side, and win. I mean, mm -hmm. I yeah. No, no, that's a horrible decision, I think. King ah, there's queen d7. Okay, yeah, so of course, king h2, obviously. Maybe we had even something better. No, I don't think, not likely, but let's see. Okay, so they're going to go knight b5, I guess. That's the idea, probably. Um, Bishop f3? <laughs> it's not a, it's not, not a bad move, perhaps. I mean, I feel like there should be something better here, but uh, I don't see it right off. Knight C7 is a very good move, actually. Not a bit of a mistake by me to not think there. You might, you might be right. Maybe we should have used more time. Is there, but... is there like a bishop G5, rook A? Then, or... then rook A, or rook A, yeah. Um, okay, can't get too low on time. So let's think. I mean, I really like bishop F3, but I don't see a refutation. So I, you know, I... Bishop F3, yeah, okay. If you like it, then just go for it. Nothing wrong with it. Just play it. I don't want to, you know... But they're low on time. Like, again, if they find every right move, like, in, in Armageddon, if your opponent with the black pieces finds all the best moves, ultimately you're not going to win the game. And that's just life. So it's like, you just have to put the pressure on them and see if they crack under the pressure, generally. Um, okay, knight b5 is interesting. I did not expect that. Um, I mean, like, I'm wondering, can you take on, take on h5, right? That's... Or not. I mean, uh, or rook g1, g4, but I don't think that actually works. Um, wait a second, wait a second. Rook, rook g1 is interesting. No, I mean, probably it's, ah, this, is, this is tough. I mean, this is very tough. I, I think, yeah, I mean, my instinct here is to take and play like queen g5. That's just my instinct, but it could be wrong. That's I'll take, like uh, and, and queen g5, swing the queen over and just start going for rook h1 and king g1 and try to do something on the king side here. And there's no like rookie six like ideas, I guess. Doesn't that just hang the... No, the, no yeah, it's like Rook G3. King H3. Bishop G4, though. I mean... Yeah, no, but, no, but Rook like, E6, there's G4 also. There's just G4 trapping the no, bishop. But I meant like in the future, like to Rook swing, mm -hmm. like just... Put the yeah, but you're going to go Rook H1 and King G1 also. I mean, it's very, very dangerous. Mm, maybe. I, I would say this is exactly the kind of game that you don't want in an Armageddon game with black. It's very, very unclear. You're low on time, and there's no like straightforward way to try and simplify the position. So from a general standpoint, everything we have is exactly what you want. Like, I don't know, queen h4 looks good here, maybe? Oh, no, he wants bishop d5. That's what he wants. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's think about this. I mean... I mean, we can play e... No, e4 is... Bishop e6 is an annoyingly good move, again, from them, I, I feel like. Um, bishop f3, king g2, and try to play, like, I don't know... Which I, th I think that's, that's a pretty good idea, yeah. I think that's actually the best idea. Yeah, bishop f3 looks right. Okay. Like I said, ultimately, if they find the best moves, that's life. You know, in an Armageddon, if your opponent finds all the best moves, there's nothing you can do about King it. King G2 and take with the pawn. Yes, exactly. Okay. Maybe Rook H1 was better first, just to keep all the pieces on the board, but it's fine. I mean, they have 90 seconds not to get mated. I feel like that's kind of a tall task. Like, mm -hmm. I, I... <laughs> Okay, they can... Yeah, pre you pre-move EF3, by the way. Just pre-move it so that you yeah. take away a couple of extra seconds yeah, from yeah, them. yeah. 
This looks very dangerous, I feel like, for Black. I mean, I mean they're, still fine. they're still fine if they find the best moves, but yeah, it's not, again, it's not what you want because there are no instant moves and no instant simplifications. Wow, Queen E7, that feels like a mistake. Wait a second, wait a second. That feels like a mistake. Queen H5, I assume? Yeah. Queen H. This looks looks very, like... Yeah. No, but just go, just go. Queen H5, yeah, just yeah, go. Yeah. Just go. Queen H4, of course, and then, yeah, Queen H4, and then Rook H1, and I mean, everything's going the other way. They're still fine, obviously, if they play this correctly. Again, I would pre-move the F. Okay, they go there, but now... No, 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 wait a second, wait a second. There's Rook C5 or Bishop F4. Ooh, a lot of options here. Uh, my gut says Rook C5, but that's just... Well, then there's B6. My gut instinct is to play Rook C5. But that's just my gut gut instinct, but I don't know. And Rook H1, Queen E2 is the... Mm-hmm, yes. So Amongst other things, queen... yeah. Queen... We don't have anything there? That's crazy. I, I mean, I'm trusting my instinct here that there's no knockout blow, so you should just play a good logical move like Rook C5 to put the pressure back on them where they have no instant reply. Let me just take 10 seconds. Rook H1, Queen E2, like Queen H8, King F7, Bishop D5. Just Rook D5? Rook D5? We don't have like Rook E1? Your Queen's hang on it. Or, oh, or wait, because we didn't queen? put it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put on H7, but... I mean, it's possible. King F7, Queen H7, King F7. Bishop D5. No, no, okay, let's see. Let's, let's think of this. Queen h7, queen h7, king f7, takes, takes, rook e1, queen g4. I mean, it might work. It might work. I mean, you, you have the idea, so if you want to do it. But I'm also worried on rook h1, they're just going to go queen f5. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go here. <laughs> well, no, I, it, it might work, but I think on rook h1, there's actually just queen f5. Yeah, and but we... No problem. I just... If it works, it works, and I'll be the hero in the game review. Okay. Mm-hmm. E, right, no. logical. That's, no, no, that's fine. Bishop f4, there's... Wait, bishop f4? Queen f5? Oh, uh, let's see. Ugh. I have this feeling there's something here, but I just don't... Maybe just rook c1 or something? I don't know. Rook c c1. No, 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 rook e c1. Because queen e2, you have rook d5, I think. Yeah, I would play rook e c1 here. What's the move on... Okay, you're not worried about rook h8. Then bishop takes d5, right? Because yeah, then, I'm, yeah, then you take and they, they can't take with the... Uh, I'm just going to move, so... Yeah. I'm just going to move. No, I mean, the main thing is they're getting low on time here. But... The key is just... Oh, wow, they found that? That's a good move. Maybe... Wait, 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 wait. Is there King G1 maybe here, just to be sneaky? <laughs> I think there's King G1, right? Yeah, King G1, because uh, then you have Queen H5 or Bishop H5, too. Uh, Rook H8, King G1, Rook H8, you, you're saying Bishop, Bishop takes D5. D5. CD5, isn't there like Queen... Um, some or, Well, Rook H8, you also have Queen F4 for starters. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait did you move or not move? No, no, I, I, I'm going to go King G1, though. Oh, okay. I mean... I don't see it... a better move, honestly, here. I, I just don't. Um, Do we have G4 ideas? G4, Bishop F, no, Bishop F3, Queen D3. No, no, no. I think you have to go King G1. We have to put them under pressure okay. on the clock. We're, like, we're, right. we're losing our time advantage, and we have yep. to put them to the test where they have to come up with a critical decision. Yep. Rook B5, Rook C5 never works. Rook B5, Rook C7 stuff also. An idea and a move. Yeah, I mean, we just have to keep them under pressure on the clock. That's the main thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Um... Ah, oh, shoot, they found it. Oops. Back. I was hoping, I mean... Bishop d5, I guess I'll play, yeah? I guess you should, yeah. Takes and what, queen f4, queen f3? Yeah, yeah, just take and go queen f4, queen f3, I think. I mean, it looks dangerous, but I think it's okay. Yeah, queen f4. If we got yeah. mated, we got mated, but I don't think there's a mate here. They can take and play knight c3. No, if they take, we take with a pawn, not the bishop. Oh, duh. And then we win the game. Yeah, the good thing is the next three or four moves are very straightforward for us. That's the good news. I would pre-move GF4. Queen F3, Queen F3. Keep going, yep. keep going. Yep, 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 yep. King F1. Because you have Queen G2 next move as well. Like, it's... Now? Queen G2? Yeah, of course. We yeah. can't take the draw. Uh, I, mean, right, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you want to take the draw, fine. But, like, Bishop F4, uh, I assume? Yeah, Bishop F4. 
Yeah, knight c3, knight c3. Rook c7, rook c7. Oh, rook c7. Uh, yep, yep, yep. This is, yeah, this is why it's team chess. Maybe, I mean, we just got to go here. So, wait, does bishop c7 work here, maybe? Rook c8, rook d5 or something? Yeah, I, I mean. I, I'm. I, I mean. Yeah, just, I, I think. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go okay. for it. Uh, okay. Rook c8, rook d5, rook c7, rook c7, queen c7, queen e4 check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, but then there's no, but there's queen c1 at the end. Oh, there's queen c1 at the end. But wait a second. Okay, wait. Okay, just okay. So you go rook d5, rook c7, queen e4, maybe. Yeah, maybe take just take and go queen e4. We got to go for it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. work, so be it again. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just so be it. Carp dm, as they say. Yeah. yeah, I'm really unsure about this position. I mean, I bet they're okay, but I think it's very, very dangerous. No, I think it's fine. I mean, queen e4 check is a really important in-between move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're okay here. I think we're winning if they play. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Queen e8, that can't be right. Um, queen f Queen f3 is the move I was thinking about. Rook c7, check. Queen f5. Queen h6, rook d4. Yeah, I think we go for it. I think we go for it with queen f3 here. I think uh, we gotta go for C7's it. C7's hanging, so we just gotta. No, don't don't you have queen f5 check? King h6 trade and rook d4, rook h4. If you, I don't know. It. I mean, I think <laughs> it works, but it. I, I I don't know. I think it works because they're very low on time. That's the thing. They're so low on time they can't calculate the lines. You have to kind of surprise them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's just a blunder. Queen, wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait, wait. queen f5. Yeah, queen f5. But king f7, it's not over yet. Rook d7. King G eight. Wow. Queen G four. Oh, the button King H seven. And then Rook D seven. Rook G six. We we have the increment though. Rook D seven. No, it doesn't look right. I mean uh, check King G eight. We we gotta go, go for it. though. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Can we just play like a slow move? Can we play like No, I think we have to go with Rook D seven, right? You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta yep. go. Rook G7? Yeah, I mean, or no no no, you, you just trade, just just trade, right? Just trade. Just trade and play rook c5. Rook c5 and then we go we go for the win. Rook c5 and go for the win. Rook wait, D4, wait, wait. Rook d4? Yeah, rook d4, right? Yeah, yeah, just take, 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 take. We win. We win because there's rook g4 chat. King g2? King F3, Rook G, Rook G4, GG. Yep. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. We probably missed something better, but... Yeah. But, but, but this is the point of the Armageddon. That's the kind of what I was saying. Like, if they play the best moves, they draw. But if you get them in a situation where the time is running down, like, and it's not a simple... It's not simple. That's where your best chances always lie. Um, yeah. No, very, very nice. good. That was nice. Yeah, that, that was... Yeah, Bishop, I mean, C, it, Bishop C7 Bishop was right. Eight, seven. Ah, Bishop six, F4. <laughs> uh, of course, Bishop F4, four, obviously. Three. Typical computer. Two. Move. All right. They're not going to play some Gambit. Um, I've been playing a lot of Knight F6, but I think there's knight, nothing knight, wrong knight. with Bishop F5. Knight F6 with E or G? Uh, I, I usually take E, but. Okay, okay. It Actually, you know, I, I'm kind of curious. I think you should do it. I, I'm kind of curious because this is one of the positions that's very hard for me to judge. Actually, in modern chess, whether this is whether it's good or bad, but it's up to you. I would go knight f6. It's, if it's what you've been playing, play it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play it, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna... No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Actually, no, no, this no is my one of the I, hardest I, positions to judge. I have to fix my crop because I did not have the board set up properly. <laughs> Give me like oh, two it's seconds. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. Two seconds, 10 seconds, an hour. It's all good. Yeah, uh, yeah I actually agree with you, but I've been, I've been getting a little bit dejected playing this a bit on my own. But it's uh, so bishop d6 and... Um, yep, all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to castle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... You mean the position with h5, right? This line with h5. Yes. Yeah. I mean, because I, I know it looks bad, but I think it's one of the hardest lines to crack. Okay, they're going to play this one right. Of course. Yep. This order, same thing. Yeah. And so you're cool with h5? Uh, of course I'm cool. They, I mean, I feel like I've played it. 
in case you weren't aware. <laughs> I mean, you played everything, though. You played everything. Well, I'm going to be interested in getting, like, you know, uh, candidate-level guidance here because this is really popular nowadays, and I... Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this line. I don't mind this line, but against better players, like in Title Tuesday, for example, it's mm -hmm. quite an, it's quite annoying to deal with. Um, yeah, no, no, it's it's. Um, I think in in general, though, this is. I, I hate to play a position with both sides. I don't like it with white. I don't like it with black. So uh, let's see your book. Keep going with your opening book. To go H four. Um. No, I mean, I, I think in general, though, it's it's very hard because it feels like white should be much better, but it's also a lot easier for black to play. If white's not very careful, you can end up much worse. Um, there is, so I, I think it's reasonable. There is a line where white puts a knight on f4 and plays like queen d1. That's like, mm -hmm. the, yeah, that's the, for me, that's what I vaguely remember, but I haven't studied this in a minute. Right, but I think normally white also here, I feel like they've, actually, you know, I played this in, um, uh, I remember I played this in the Disaster Tournament, the World Cup in 2019 in Hunting Mount Sisk. Uh, last real terms that I played, or I guess I played the Grand Prix, but essentially the last real terms that I played before um, before everything changed. And I played in the first round against this like Moroccan guy, I think it was, or Algerian guy. Okay, let's see your opening, Slavi. Keep going. Uh, I don't, I'm out of book. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I thought you said Queen D1, Queen, Knight of Four, Queen D1 was an idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but um, see, I want to go Queen C7, but I don't know if that's right. Um, I mean, my, my, my general takeaway from this opening is that unless you do something really stupid, it sh everything should still be within the margin. It shouldn't be that bad. Um, I, I would I would say, yeah, I mean, really the only moves that make sense are queen c7 or knight d7, right? Yeah, I, I don't there's... really see other moves that make, make sense. Um, I mean, the thing is, you, you mentioned queen d1. So if you go knight d7, queen d1, knight f8, queen h5, that's really the line to calculate. And then g6, queen h6 is not clear. I mean... My, my gut instinct is that you're supposed to play knight e7, queen d1, knight f8, queen h5, and there's some line with some, like, I feel like there's some line with a bishop f4 and a knight g6 idea, is what I vaguely recall. Um, but if you feel like queen c7 is a better move, you can also play queen c7. That's also an option. I like Yeah, so queen c7, g3, right? I mean, that's sort of... Right, and, and then... I think they're going to they're gonna take with the f pawn and they go queen d1, queen h5, or take with the h pawn and go king g2, rook h1. Again, not sure which one's best, but my, my gut instinct is that knight d7 is the correct move. Knight Just my gut, my gut yeah. instinct, but I could be wrong. We, we, we can go with gut instinct. We can go with gut instinct. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would play queen c7 in a heartbeat. I just don't know if g3 is good for us or for them, like the inclusion of queen c7. And... Because I also realized after queen d1, knight f8, queen h5, there might be, uh, or sorry, queen d1, knight f8, queen h5, there might be f5, bishop f5, g6 or something too. Yeah. So, there, yeah, yeah, there like, it is. is this, yeah, so yeah. like that's the question: Is knight f8 bad or not? Knight f8, queen h5, f5, bishop f5, g6, knight g6, f g6, bishop g6. I mean, is this bad or not? Do you you also might have bishop h2 somewhere in there? No, king h1. I mean, that's the big question. Um, well, if it's not if knight knight f8, are we taking on f4 first? Well, there's also a question here: Do you play g6? It's also a question. Like g6 mm. here. Um, I mean, it's 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 Dania, so. Is that actually, I'm wondering about g6. g6, knight g6, right? f g6, bishop g6, rook e7. I mean, my gut instinct is that that's probably okay for us, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it knight f8 or g6, I think one of those two moves has to be played. I'll go with knight f8. I mean, it okay, looks cool. it looks right. It And yeah, you're right. Like, at the end of the day, this is... Uh... You got Naroditsky on the other side, so it's... Right. I also realized something else. One thing that I missed here was that if you, queen h5, f5, bishop f5, you can play bishop f4. Because if bishop f4, g6, and then you're winning. And bishop c8, bishop c1, you're, you're winning. So actually, yeah. I think knight f8 is, is, is a good, good idea. Yeah, f5. And then the question is, yeah, all this bishop c4 stuff, we always have a queen on f6. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, that looks pretty safe. Probably also have, like, some g6 at some correct moment and uh yeah, yeah and then queen h6 and there's probably something i mean it depends but uh they're going for it so wait so what are we missing here what are we missing like f5? is there something terrible about f5 is there something terrible that i'm missing okay I mean, how about play... uh, maybe f5 they're gonna go knight h3 maybe something like that that might be the idea maybe but then 
Okay. But again, like I said, like I said, my my feeling about this position is that I think you're supposed to take and play knight g6. And if bishop d2, there's queen d5. And if they take they take the pawn with the opposite color bishops, you should be okay. That's just my 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 spider sense feeling is that bishop f4 is the right move. But if you want to play f5, you can play f5 too. F5, f5 knight, knight h3 is my big concern. Um followed by okay. bishop g5. Queen uh, like the candidate moves I see are queen c7, f5, or bishop f4. Sorry, bishop f4 take knight g6. If they play bishop g6, we just go down the pawn and we... Yeah, and I think you play bishop e6 followed by h3 and queen d7 and opposite color bishops, and it's like one of those positions that probably you're five. That's just my... I, I vaguely have a feeling that's the correct line, but again, I could be wrong, so if you don't if you don't trust it, you can also just play f5. Because if you're going to learn something more instructive with f5, then play it. Yeah, but so f5... F5, knight h3 does look... So, and then we just lose the pawn on h4. I mean, queen f6, bishop g5, queen g6 queen h4 right but then mm -hmm. we're just down a pawn right so <laughs> <laughs> wow but like i said it's it's your call if you, if you want to do something else go ahead and do something else how bad is f5 knight h3 knight no knight e6 queen f5 uh and queen c7 the candidate move for white is what uh i think just g3 yeah the same g3 huh Oh, uh, we defended pawn down earlier. All right. I'm pretty sure it's correct, but I, I mean, again, like I said, that's just my understanding of chess, which of course could be complete garbage too. No, 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 no! <laughs> don't, don't touch the pawn. Don't, no, 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 I know, I know, I know. But I, I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, how, how, how terrible is G5? <laughs> King I, G5? You know, I, I had another thought. How, I was wondering how terrible H3 is actually. I was wondering about H3 because if White pushed the pawn, then you can play Queen D5 even. Or play knight g6 again because then there's a serious weakness. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to rush with knight g6, I guess. I mean, the thing with h3 is that white can maybe go g4. That's the other question. Then hide yeah. the bishop on g3 and take the pawn. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is. It, it's up to you. It's up to you. Because, like I said, I think everything is relatively acceptable here. But I think knight g6 is the correct move. But again, my brain might not work. Like, I'm, I'm not. I don't have the best memory out there of the players and the candidates, so I mean I could be wrong. Yeah, h3, g4, queen d7, f3, right? So that would, mm -hmm. uh, and then they win the pawn on h3. Uh, okay. Um, I, I'll go knight g6. Take, take, queen g6, h3. No, no, no. Takes, takes. I think you have to go bishop e6 first. If you play h3. Ah, bishop h6. Bishop, bishop h6. h6. Yeah, bishop rookie h6. Rookie 7. Rookie. Well, rookie 1 h2, though. No, then bishop g7. Yeah, I, I think what happens is they take, take, queen, queen takes, and you go bishop e6. And then if bishop h6, some queen. You just queen yeah, d7. Queen d7, queen d7 with bishop f5 to, to lock yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but see, like, this is, yeah, I mean, going down practically pawn, uh, down a pawn to, like, hold and be confident mm -hmm. that in the opposite color bishop endgame, it's just the draw is... <laughs> That's yeah, tough. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, well, I mean, I think it's just, it, it, the, the, the difference, I guess, is just at the top level, because there's so many, because everyone's so well prepared, there are a lot of situations where you do just give up a pawn or something of that nature, or it's just completely equal. Yeah, so like yeah. the brain is sort of like conditioned a little bit differently, I think, for the top players. Yeah, you mentioned that last time. Like sometimes you get this plus 0.5, but it's it's dead. I mean, there's right. like exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this might be this might be theory. Like it's it's just the truth. I uh, I think it. Like I said, I I mean, maybe my memory is failing me. I mean, I'm not super young anymore, but I vaguely have a feeling that this is actually the correct line. I have this strange feeling. Yeah, I went. I went. But how? Uh, on move five, like GF six, is there? Uh, I know you play it sometimes. Is it? It's not good at classical level, but is it practical for any anything else? I mean, you could play it in blitz. I play it in blitz, and I do fine with it. But it's absolute garbage. No, in a classical okay. game, I get murdered even by a twenty six hundred player. No, it's complete garbage. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's pretty bad, but I I just haven't seen it in so long. Like I uh, stepped away from uh, mm -hmm. Bishop E six. Yeah, Bishop E six, of course. Yeah. And uh, I stepped away from this bishop f5 line in the classical. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably go back to it because it was pretty dead there. It was really hard to win against even like people 100 to 200 points lower than me. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but now there's some life there. Uh, do- I beat a, you know, I beat Yasser Kusada Perez in the classical with black. So who? Uh, Kusada, Unieski's younger oh, brother. Oh, 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 he has a. Oh, okay, I was confused. I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah you're like Yasser. I'm like, what the heck? Like, what? No, he has a younger brother named Yasser, and then they have a okay. third sibling named like Francisco or something. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Weird, but okay. Yeah. Sure. Teach their own. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think this position, by the way, is completely. I think it's just a dead draw. But yeah. Mainly, be, mainly because I think it, because I'm not sure what white is supposed to do here because you also have problems on the queen side here. If you look at the pawn structure, like you don't want to go a three, but you, if you but if you go like if you go like um, I don't know, let's say h three, queen d five, rookie one, queen f five. Already, it's just a dead draw because queens come off the board. Yeah, so, yeah, like, white, yeah. if white could get queen c two, rookie one, and like b three or c four something, white's probably better. But I think it's too too many ideas that you need to have here. Um, and opposite color bishop end games are always drawn. Always, yeah. Queen d five h three. Like, white can get mated in many lines. Uh, not this one, but uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of lines you can attack. No, and even here, like I was just saying, if age three, maybe you can even go bishop f seven with g five somewhere too. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's just so many options here. So so many options for black. If white plays b three, h three, h three, instantly h no, three. Yeah, you know, I'm saying, but like, let's say, yeah, white already has a pawn there. Like, white okay. goes for b three. Mm-hmm. Do we, do we go for b five or do we play for a five a four? Um, probably you play a five a four because. Generally speaking, I assume it's easier to get the rook on the A file than double the rooks on the E file. Again, I'm not doing calculations, but I would think generally it's easier to open the A file, like get some AB3, AB3, and have the use the A file, then play like rookie seven, queen seven, and rook AE8 or rook F8. But I could be wrong. I mean, both plans I think are playable. A B5 feels a little bit wrong, though. I think you would go A5, yeah. A4 right away. Yeah, H3 is expected. Now, I mean, I guess the thing is if you play queen D5, there's bishop H6. Oh, yep. bishop H6, you could go queen D7 back. Which is kind of funny, because um, then they have to go bishop e3 or something. But yeah, I mean, this position looks completely fine here. I mean, I, I think probably queen d7 is the correct move, just looking at it optically, but I could be wrong, of yeah. course. No, queen d7 looks like I would play queen d7. And... Yeah, and if queen h5, then you can go g5, followed by, like I don't know, like queen f7 or something. But, but let's think for one second here, just yeah, to think yeah. for a second. Because I'm also wondering here if you can't play like bishop f7, queen g4, and like rook e4 maybe. But there is rook e1, I guess, at the end of the day. And so it's not really what you want here. Um, yeah, I'm wondering about queen e5, bishop h6, queen d7, bishop e3. And then something like, I don't know, like... Uh, can we even can we just play queen f7 there like or do you want to keep the queens on uh, i figured it out yeah i think queen d5 is the right move here okay after bishop h6 queen d7 bishop e3 yeah i think you go bishop f5 queen h5 and then rook e4 followed by rook a8 <laughs> that is yeah that is pretty gnarly <laughs> that's uh because you, you just have a lot of counterplay really really quickly i think but i could be wrong i could oh, be wrong of course no no i mean Queen yeah. D5. I I don't like that on Queen D7. That Queen H5. We have to play G5. It's probably fine because we can just trade queens. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, question for you. Like why uh, in a lot of lines, for example, uh, Queen D7, Queen H5, G5, Bishop E3. Like why would we not play Queen F7 immediately to just trade the queens? Because White That's can get true. some F4 or mm-hmm. no? I'm just asking. Like, is it just a preference? Is it like? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think. I think that's what I would say. It's mostly just just preference. Like hmm. a lot of these positions. I mean, it's, it's just like you, as long as. I, I mean, like I know. Like I mean, I don't know. Of course, I I don't have stockfish with me, but I know in my heart of hearts there are probably like three different three different ways of playing this that are all zeros. Or you'll you'll draw this easily. I guess I would say. Um, but if you were playing in title Tuesday and there's a yeah. minute each on the clock, you. You're probably playing this for a win. Like you're going to keep the queens on. If, if I'm playing, if I was playing Title Tuesday, yeah, that's isn't just Queen F five forcing queens off the board, and it's like good night time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, okay, uh, yeah. Like, what's what? Yeah, but if you don't go Queen F five, you lose the game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, do, I really don't understand this. I mean, I guess they think they're. I mean, this this is just a dead draw. You just take. Yep. I mean, I get what they're I get what they're trying to do. They're going to try to argue the pawn on h4 is a long term weakness. That in some end game with the opposite color bishops, maybe h4 is weak. But if you get king f7, g5, king g6, it's just a draw. Yeah, I was going to say like g5, king f7, and you put the pawn on a6, and it's right. a complete and, draw. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, what I'm saying is I think they're hoping they can trade all the rooks off and then go like, I don't know, like bishop b3, f4, and bishop f2 or something like that. But again, once you get king f7, g5, king g6, there's, there's just no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now b5 is probably fine. <laughs> like it, in a, maybe, maybe yeah. because you have to be careful about a4 though, because then white yeah. can try to use the a5. No, you, no, you, you I, I meant, I meant, I meant without the rooks. Like without the rooks, yeah, you can yeah, do whatever. Yeah, you could do whatever you want. Like I mean, can... all, all roads lead to Rome. Also, because you know, if you think about the second game, like they probably think h4 is weak, but h3 is also weak. Like the pawns on g2 and h3 are also in the same color as your bishop. Yep. No, this yep. is very, very, very reminiscent of um, our first game last time against Eric and Jorn. Very, very reminiscent. Like, again, I, I have a feeling like if you were playing this entitled Tuesday against Dania or, um, or Robert and you weren't down to 30 seconds, like you had a minute and a half, I think you would draw this on your own. Yeah, well, here I'm, I'm definitely more confident. I'm not... Uh, I'm not... But there's a major difference between... Uh, because... Okay, let's come up with a move. Um, Logical. I mean... Definitely not a5, that's yeah, for sure. Yep, 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 yep. But I'm, I still don't understand what they're playing for. If you go like, I mean, the only question is, do you play king f7 or g5 right away? And one thing I would say is that normally you try and, you know, as Levon Aroni would say, when, when you push a pawn, you can never put it back. So my, yep. my first instinct is that king f7 is just the right move. I was going to say that, yeah. And then, um, then I was going to say... After a5, I mean, I would just go rookie one and rookie eight ASAP, but do we need to include a6? Like, are we worried about a6 ever? I mean, the only thing with including a6 is whether white can then lift the rook with rook a4, rook b4 yeah. down the road. Like, white can maybe yeah. go bishop e3, bishop e3, and then play rook a play for rook a4, rook b4. Like, my instinct is that you don't want to do that. Yeah. That you don't yeah. want to include it. Like, my instinct is that you, you want to go g5. And also, because you know what else I realized? If white goes a5, like, it's not really an important idea. But if white were somehow to get a5 and rook a4, you could always go bishop d3, bishop a6, and yep. guard the pawn with yep. the rook on b4. Yep. Yeah, that with the pawn on g5, it's, that's yeah. it. I mean, it's not... Um... No, I don't really think this is very exciting. I mean, it's another very boring kind of position, I, I guess I would say. I don't disagree. I. Yeah, of course you take, yep. obviously. They're going to go bishop e3, I assume. Yeah, so now their idea, I guess, is they want to play for d5, maybe, to create the weakness. And that could be a serious issue, potentially. Um, a5 is definitely wrong. The pawn's too loose on a5. If you go a6 and they go a5, I'm trying to think about this the structurally. I mean, it's not as, somehow it's not as easy as I thought it was initially. Um, this could get dangerous, I think. If you go a6, a5... G5, rook a4, rook e7, rook b4. Nah, I mean, this should be a draw. So I still think a6 is fine, actually. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because when you go a6 here, mm -hmm. if you don't go a6, they're going to play d5, and we're going to be in... I mean, I guess you could play g5, d5, a6, and allow the trade, but, I mean, that's kind of cheesy. But the idea that I had in mind here is that you can play bishop to d3. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at this. Yeah. And then after rook a4, you can go g5. Rook before rookie seven, and now the king is stuck. The king doesn't ever get in here. You see, the king's stuck on g1. <laughs> it's like kind of stuck in this little box here, and yeah. you can't ever move the bishop because then there's rookie two at the end. So it's like now, once you go g5, even if they get rook before rookie seven, they're, they're, you're paralyzed on the king side. White can't do a whole lot here. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, yeah no, no, but you got to be careful. Yeah, because if white gets, again, they want to go d5 to create the imbalance, create a weak pawn on center. So g5, of course, is best. Yeah, yeah, because d5 would actually get yeah. h4. That's actually losable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, still, still a computer would draw it in, in easily, easily, not even with, 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 with uh, trouble, but still, yeah, the point here is after rook b4, rook e7. I mean, they can always go c4, b3, but then you just like, then you put the rook on d7 and, yep. Yeah, like rook e7, of course. Yeah, so so c4. The question is: is do we have to stop d5 right away? Because absolutely not. Because if they go d5, you trade and go bishop b5, and you get a nice blockade. Yeah, bishop b5, rook d7. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely I was, not. I was gonna say if c4, rook d7, can now they can play like f3. I mean, it's probably still right. okay, but yeah, I mean, it's a little bit shaky. Also, I, I realized here though, like again. The main, main idea that I have in mind is they go c4, king g7, d5, you can take and then play like, um, and then you can play like rook, wait, rook b6 is a weird move. A bishop, I mean, so bishop they, b5, they, they b3. Wanna, so they want to go for what, d5 here, I guess? That's their idea? Um, let's think about this. So they want to go for d5. <clears throat> king e6. Um, 
Actually, what is wrong with King E6? That looks like a very attractive move. F3? Um, but... Like this type of stuff? Actually, let's think about this. This feels like somehow this has gotten a little bit more complicated than it should have. Um, time, time. We're, we're good on time here, right? So mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you do something. Okay, so their idea, I guess, is D5. Well, D5 takes bishop... No, but you know what's funny here? D5 is not a big threat because now you can play, you can give up the B7 pawn there because you're fine. So, like rook E6, because now the pawns are on the wrong color, the queen side yeah. pawns. But king G6, D5 is not an issue. It's say you just taking a rook F7. So it's like if you go king G6, they go B3, king F7, C4, and then I don't know, like rook king G6, D5. That, that could get scary. Um, Think about this. And if you play bishop e4, f3 is never a threat, right? Because you just take f, or maybe not so clear. Hmm. King e6, f3, king d5. King f2. Bishop f1 was the idea, but I guess they can move the bishop. Well, they can also take and take b7. That's. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Huh. It's gotten strangely complicated. I'm wondering, okay, we're, we're, time is a little bit of an issue, right? Yep. Think about what are the positional setups that we have here? Okay, if we put the bishop on e6 and put the rook on d7, can white make progress? Is, is one of the questions. Like, if you just start playing silly chess, like bishop c4, yep. bishop b6, and just rook d7, e7 forever, I think, I think that's, I think actually bishop c4 has to be correct, by the way, here. The reason I think it has to be correct is because you're provoking b3. So now the rook is going to get stuck on b6, I think. Or not stuck, but it's going to take a long time to reroute it anywhere else. Right, so bishop d e6, d5? I would, I would go to e6, and the reason I would go to e6 here is kind of now c4, d5 is not a threat. Yeah. And once they go c4, I mean, I wonder if you should have played, okay, whatever, they played c4 anyway. Like, if you go rook d7 here, how do they improve the position? How does white ever improve here? Um... I don't see how white improves if you play rook d7. Like, you just sit on the position and just wait. Because white can't push pawns on the queen side now. g3, you take an h3 is hanging. Yeah. I mean, they can go king h2 and g3 maybe. They can also try, of course, king f1 is an idea. But now the problem in the long term is that because the pawns on the queen side are fixed this way, I mean, I just, I don't see how white's ever supposed to be, be winning here, basically. I guess the only thing is we can't go king g6 because of d5. So... Correct, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking... But I think what I would do here if I were playing this position uh, is I would just play bishop f5 here. Yeah, like you here? just go bishop f5 and chill, yeah. Yeah, because what can white do? That's the thing, uh, what yeah. can white do here? Because even if they get d5, take 6, rook b7, king g6, now the pawn's on a5, a6, you can always put the bishop on that diagonal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, d5 takes bishop d4, we have bishop yeah, b6. I mean, okay, the only question, king g6 here is a blunder except d5. So... Yeah. I don't know, like, what's wrong with uh, bishop d3, maybe? I mean, okay, that's maybe a little bit too much, but bishop d3, d5 takes, bishop d, yeah, bishop d3 should be more than, more than acceptable. Uh, d5 takes bishop d4, you just like uh, just dc. F5. Well, it's just, just f5, even, or dc, I mean. dc, yeah, dc's DC, a little sharp. DC, no, Actually, dc's fine, because bishop f6, you can just go rook d5. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, holding g5, okay. Yeah. Right. I would, never... pre I would pre move, by the way, just because if they play it, it's the only move. Um, That's fair. And if they go king e. Whoa, f4? What? Okay, I mean, I, I guess you just. Can't you just take and play like bishop e4 somewhere? Or can't. Yeah, I mean. Well, we have to take. I I yeah, I would take and go king g6, probably. Six. I just I don't see what their yeah. plan is. I, I don't yeah. see what their plan is here. Right, because King E three Bishop F one. Right, mm. and if they go like G three, for example, which is another idea. Uh, I mean, you can just even take or just put the King on F five and Bishop on E four, because yeah. the Rook on B six looks really good, but it's actually not doing a whole lot here in these end games. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they can't move any center pawn, like. Mm -hmm. C C five is dead. I mean C five they could lose. <laughs> this should be five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that would yeah. be that'd be nice. But uh... yeah, I mean when I look at this position, because the work on B six looks really nice, but unless you can play D five somewhere and win, 
I, it's just it can't be anything special. That's the main thing. I mean, they're probably looking at D5 right here, but again, I mean, for starters, yeah, you just take. And well, bishop e5, you can just take on c4 because bishop yeah. f6, there's rook f7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying, like, we always can take multiple pawns. We don't have to be worried, mm -hmm. but even even rook f7 is just. No, it's really, it's really good that we're up on time here, though. Really good. Yep. Really, really good here. I mean, because the only end game that I can think of is they try to create the, the, the split pawns with some G3 somewhere. But I think the rook on B6 basically is just too passive. Because they're going to, because they're going to, if they don't have, if they play G3 takes, for example, G3, H, G3, I don't know, bishop G3, king F5, H4, and you go bishop E4, the rook's going to have to try to go all the way back to B4, A4, A1. And I think that's just going to take too long. It's like snake. Yeah. Um, and, mm -hmm. I think they might repeat. I think they might play king E3, bishop F1, king F2. Ah, I could see that. Yeah, that, that would make some sense here for sure. Yeah. Because they're going way too low on time. I mean, oh, okay. Okay, so what is... Uh, so they're trying to go for some bishops. Okay, they're trying to go for bishop c3. Logical plan. I actually... Okay, I, I like the concept. Um, still, I mean, I'm, I'm very, very skeptical about all of this. Let, let me think for a second. So if you go bishop e4, bishop c3, rook f7, what's the big deal? Where's the beef? I don't get it. Yeah, I just don't get it. What what am I missing here? If you go bishop e4 and rook f7, yeah, I just I just don't understand yeah, it. Yeah, bishop nothing. just bishop bishop e4 rook f7 and you hold everything. Yeah, I was gonna say we might have rook e7, rook e2, and rook c2, but I'm not sure we need to do any of that. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I I think this is all amazing. Uh, question. No, never mind. I was gonna say, uh, is c5 like dc bishop c6, but like there's not even, uh, Ooh, very risky. Yeah. 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 Um, just rook, out, rook f7 here and then yeah. king f5. And I mean, it's just a draw. Like if they yeah. go g3, take six, king f5, maybe we can play for rook g7 and play for a win, actually. Yeah. I was gonna say, like if they get low, they could. Okay. b4 is obviously, um, a move. I'm wondering if we go king f5 and try to win here, try to be a hero. That's what I'm wondering. Um, I mean, I like it. <laughs> okay. Then bishop, go bishop d3, there's d5, yeah? That's... A bishop yes, that, I mean, that's probably also a draw, but that's one where you're, you're struggling. So I, I would never go for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, king, yeah. Let's go for it. Because <laughs> also b5, cb5, cb5, rook c7, rook c2 is incoming. And, and again... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate very, the raids, guys. Thank you for the... Uh, I mean, okay, so so we're playing to win here. Remember that. We're going to win this game. Just keep that in mind, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big mindset start, shift. Start, start manifesting it. Start manifesting it. And it's good things are going to happen. 10 seconds. And CB? So let's, let's again, one thing, yep. I, one thing I'm sure... Well, actually, sorry. You grew up in the U.S. You, you didn't learn quite this Russian school. But, like, one thing I remember hearing is that, like, in, in the Russian school, what you're supposed to do when you have a lot of time is you're supposed to sit on your hands. Maybe you've even taught some students this. But, like, when you've got a lot of time, just sit on your hands and don't rush it. Um, yeah. So, okay, let's think about... So, so rook g7 is, is actually a move here. Um, but b a6, rook g2, king e3, takes, takes. I mean, I don't really see why we want that necessarily. Even cb5, cb5, we're going to go for that. We should play cb5, cb5, rook g7 because the diagonal's open, right? Yep. So it's rook g7 or rook c7. We just have to figure out which one we like. Um, rook c7 is for sure a draw. Rook g7 is whether we're trying to win the game. Um, my instinct is rook c7 is actually just a lot safer, though. It's yeah, just I don't, a lot safer. I, I don't know why allowing the A pawn would be... I mean, we get both the other pawns and... Yeah, what yeah. I'm worried about is rook g7. They'll play like d5 or something, and then it starts to get... A, I mean, it's still obviously a draw, but with rook c7, there's no risk because they don't get the d5 counterplay. So, yeah, I, yeah. I think rook c7 is quite simple here. Yeah, I'd play rook c7, especially because of the time situation. Pre-move yeah. b8. Or wait, b8? Yeah, be pre-move because rook c3, they just take b7. I thought, oh yeah, a seven rook c eight. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Well, there's maybe a no, no a six. You take and open the diag. Ooh, but, yeah, but you, there's no, nothing. If you take, they go. They, if you take, they just go a b seven, <laughs> and then it's probably a draw in end game. But why? Why do you want to go for that? Yeah, yeah. yeah I would just take. Yeah. Okay. They'll probably go rook b three. Well, rook b three. There's rook g seven though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this this, this is a draw, but we're gonna have the bishop on the diagonal. It's a, it's a Magnus game. The bishop on e four covers both the d and the a pawns. If you think about it. Yeah, this is yeah. very dangerous um, yeah, for them. Force. Ooh, rooks. Wow. Okay, that's that's probably a pretty good move. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there nothing better than rook c6 here? I really don't want to play it, but... 
Yeah. Bishop e one's actually a very, very good move. I, I didn't actually see that. That's that's a very good move by them. Yep. Um Yeah, yeah King I mean, is really for. So so wait, Rook G seven, King E three. Yeah, Bishop E one's a move that I actually completely missed here. Um I mean Rook C six is obviously fine. I mean I'll just play Rook C six. I mean okay. I, I, I don't want to get too low. Okay, we're fair enough. Okay. We're gonna lose the H pawn if we give a check or play Rook G seven, so Rook c6 is safe. I would play rook c6. I think it's safe. I'm not actually. Wait, did I make a mistake here? Take. No, no, it's a draw. I, I mean. No, it's a draw, right? I mean, what? What are you worried about? Like, ah. I was worried. Worried. Yeah, okay. King, King g5, of course, only move. Yep. Yeah, I mean, now, now it should be an easy draw, I think. Okay, but 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 this is this should be this is quite easy because now you just take and go f five f four. Take a five f ah okay, and the white king is sort of fortressed out. Yeah, the, the, the king is boxed out here. Yeah, very very simple. A five f four. Yeah. No, I I have a feeling that that, that we messed that we both misplayed this. Like I have a feeling we messed it up and they also messed it up. Because bishop e one was a phenomenal move by Dan I assume Daniel found it. it was a phenomenal idea. And after rook c six, they might have had king e three. I'm gonna go f4. Sure, yeah, of course. Yeah, bishop f. Yeah, okay. Because the point is, you go king f5, and they go king d3. You check, and you get the king to e4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the a pawn is always also uh, yeah also wrong color pawn. So even if we trade f for d, you can sack the bishop. Yep. Sack the bishop. Yeah, king f5, of course. I'm. I am curious, like how. Is it venomous? Like, if we played f3 check, could we lose? <laughs> it depends if the king can get to c4, c4. If the king can get to c4 or e4. Like, that's what it comes down to. Like, it's... Yeah, of course you check. Uh, I mean, of course... Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Do you check or not? I assume you check, right? And go king e4. Wait, wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I make a mistake here? King e6, king, king e4, h4, bishop e... No, no, of course. No, no, it's still a draw. So you, you go bishop e4? Yeah, of course. Or bishop e5, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get what you're saying. You're saying bishop b5, king e4, and then the fortress from e2. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah from e2. Yeah, it took yeah. me a second. I almost missed that. Yeah, you go king e4, and then you put the bishop on e2. Yeah. Uh, does white have bishop bishop f2, king f3, I guess is the point. And then we can chase the bishop to g1. I mean, if bishop f2, you can also go king d5, actually. So it's fine. Okay. Because as long as the king doesn't have an entry to e4 or c4, there's no way to break through. All right, I'm right go now bishop. You, go, you go to e2, yeah. Without bishop, bishop e2, two, it, it might be tricky, actually. It's still probably a draw, but it's tricky. Why was bishop e8 not a draw? King c4. It's king c4, and then I think white's winning, actually. King c4. B... I thought maybe you could sit on f7 for king, a second. King, king c5? And then, I mean, there's king b6 coming. It's still probably yeah. a draw, like yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bishop d2. Okay, so so if you go f3, they play no, but f3, bishop e1. Ah, oh, wait, have we made this tricky? I mean, I know there's a draw here with. I mean, wait a second. Let me think. So you go king f5, they go king b4. If you move the bishop, h5, right? Yep. H5, f3, bishop f1, king king f5, d5. Wait. Why? No, no, wait. Why? Why is bishop b five not? Wait. Why is f three not a draw? I would go. Yeah, f three. F three. Bishop b one. Bishop b. Oh, wait. But uh, oh, I might have made a mistake. Bishop b five. H five. No, no. Go bishop b five. Go bishop b five. We're getting low on time. We we yeah. have to we have to do something. Right. No problem. Uh, this is still a draw, I think, but I, I've, I mean, it's gotten very chaotic. Yeah, because h5, you go, king, yeah, now you have, you have king d5, and it's still, I believe, a draw. It's a tricky draw, but yeah, it should be a draw. Five, okay. Yeah, you can put the bishop on g6, and it's a draw, but this was the one that I was mentioning earlier. Um, so, but it's, but, I mean, it's, it's not over, because they're going to put the king on e3, so I guess no, we got to... No, you, you box with your king. You box, bishop e8... Yeah, you, you box him out with king e4. That's the point. King d2, king e4. You you, you box the king. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a draw, but I mean, it's it's one of those ones that you don't feel very comfortable about. Because you see, you just use the king opposition. Yeah. Okay, so king d2, king e4. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just an easy draw. And if we ever trade f for d, I can just run to the corner. Whoa. All right, I think that's an easy draw, or am I wrong? King f4. King f4. Wait a second. They're going to put the king on... Wait a second. <sighs> Did I mess this up? <sighs> king f4, um, bishop f5? Isn't that our setup? I think that's... Yeah, that should be the setup, right? Yeah, king f4, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And you just have to make sure that you do it in the right position. Yeah, because d5, king e5. And... Yeah, so we're going to go king f1. You check king g1, bishop b4, king h2, bishop, e, bishop f5. Very tricky. Yeah, this is this is, this is actually extremely tricky. You're right. Um, but once the king gets to h5, you can just wait. So just check him. Just 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 check. Just make sure that you stop the pawns. Like bishop 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 e4 or something. Check king h4, bishop h7, bishop g3, king e4, bishop two. Yeah, it's it's still a draw, but it's very tricky. So king g1. I would just go like bishop e4 or something. Yeah, just bishop, bishop e4. e4. Okay. King h2 and then bishop d3, bishop f5, I think. Yeah, bishop f5, yeah. So once the king gets to h2, then bishop f5, they're, then... They're, they're, they're going to put the bishop on g1, though, which still makes it tricky. But yeah, bishop f5, mm -hmm. bishop g1. Can we have, like, bishop... king, king... Can we play king g5, king g... No, they play d5. I mean, it's still a draw, but what's going to happen is they're going to go bishop g1, and I think you just yo-yo. Bishop d3, king h3, check, king h4, bishop h7. Can't wait... Isn't wait wait wait, king e four? Yeah, yeah what's well, king, king e four? I don't understand this move at all. King e four? Yeah. Bishop right. e four. Yeah, king f four back. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm in. Just I don't know. Just bishop, bishop d. Bishop d three. Right. Yeah. Bishop d three to cut the king off. Right. Yeah. Of course. Simple. Bishop d three. Wait wait, was... wait 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 a second wait a second. Bishop d three. Do they have a trick? Well, last time we went bishop e four on king g one. So I'm okay. just. Okay, so maybe bishop e4 then. Why not? Just bishop e4. Yeah, I think this is two times as position has happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this happened twice. Okay, so there. So, okay, so... King e3? Position? Wait, king, king e3 is e3, a draw. No, they, they, king e3, d5. No, no, king e3, they go d5. What? Wait, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. King um, e2, but, I thought the bishop, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, I think you said it do the same setup though, right? Bishop f5, right? It's just the same setup. Just bishop f5 and king e4, and then just yo-yo again with the bishop. Yeah, yeah, just bishop f5. It's just yeah, a draw. Yeah, yeah, bishop f5. This is why it's team chess. I would have, uh, you know, I would have jumped us. Yeah. I, I thought king e3, they have to go the other way. I completely forgot about uh, going back <laughs> yeah. to this diagonal. Okay, so king f2. Yeah, and then king e4, bishop c3, and then you just wait on this diagonal. You wait yeah, yeah. on the diagonal, because then the bishop's yeah. on the wrong diagonal. Yeah, yeah. Because then you yeah. can't move the king. So yeah, I think the bishop gets stuck on this diagonal, but this is, I mean... This is something that's like really out of Dvoretsky. Um, I mean, I think you just, you can do anything here, but I think check in Bishop G6 is just fine, for example. Yeah. Uh, check, check uh, I, I don't want to make the wrong check, but they, you can go back to G6 only from D3. You can go back to G6, G6, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Can yeah. I go back to G6? Yeah, so D5, King E5, and it, that's an easy draw because we put the King on A8 mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Stressful. No, I mean, it, it's, it's actually, I think, a very, it's very... The only question is, could they have done, gone king h2 and some bishop g1, bishop h2 check? But yeah, now king e4 should be very easy. Yeah, just king e4, of course. Yeah, now it's an easy draw. King e4, and you just mm -hmm. wait, yeah. Because now they can't use the king. The king is a passive piece for the rest of the game. Yep, they can't get the king up here because the pawn is, yeah. So yeah. bishop, yeah, bishop f5 yeah. or yeah, something. Just, f5, h7 doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's just an easy draw. Yeah, yeah there's no difference. King g3, yeah. bishop... Uh, yeah. Bishop g6? Yep. Yeah, they, they, there's just no way to progress here for white. Yeah. Yeah, you just wait h7, I guess. H7, yeah. F, I mean, I don't think it matters really at this point. All, all roads lead to Rome. No, no, it, it, yeah, it doesn't, but... I, I feel more comfortable not getting touched by the white king, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Pause. Yeah, exactly, pause. yeah. Pause, pause. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think it was always it was always probably a draw. The one only question I'm wondering is whether they could put the king on h4, but I think it was always just a draw. Yeah, you just take and run the king back to the corner. Yep. I guess king e3 might have been an easy one. King I was going to say king two. e3, yeah, but... Well, I okay. mean, still, it's easy. You just put the king in the corner. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, put the king in the corner and just... That's how you would draw this? You wouldn't go to f7 yeah. and try to... <laughs> Oh, actually, you're right. You can go to F7, too. I forgot. Yeah, F7 is easier, actually. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I'm much just... easier. Okay. Uh... I mean, the king gets a G8 and the bishop goes to D3. Yeah. 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 I thought this fortress without... But it, it is instructive to just run to A8 and then lose the bishop. And... Right. Okay, I'm yeah. just going to well, put the yeah, king... Yeah, because in... there probably were some endgames where he would have had to run to A8. Yeah, I'm just going to put the king on G8 and... Yep. Or, uh, I guess... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust that you can draw this game easily without my yes. help now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can... I can I can do that. It's uh it it would take it would take some effort I think to uh to lose this position. So mm -hmm. I think they were trying to offer us some sort of exchange there. Like ah, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, like probably King... yeah. Just Bishop D three, of course. Oh yeah, or this. Just have to uh, is that are they are they trying to lull us to sleep? Is that put the bishop on D three? Put the bishop on D three, dude. Put the bitch on b5 and put the king on h7. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah all right, all right. Attack. All right, all right. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Well, I mean, you're literally one slip away from losing the game. No, no, <laughs> come on. I wouldn't lose this. What, what, what's happening yeah. here? They're trying to... Uh, we're going to play 50 moves? Right. All right, all right. All right, now I'm going to go no, this you, way. No, you know what this is? This is where, like... This is where, like... If um if if I knew my opponent something like Title Tuesday, I'd I'd go and I'd sit for ten minutes at the end of the game, like build up the whole time advantage and then, like sit for ten minutes to scare them. But I'm, I mean, I'm giving obviously, giving them yeah. hope. No draw offers are allowed in this game, by the way. They don't let us draw in team oh, chess. Oh, okay. So wow. I guess we have to play fifty moves. I don't know why they're not repeating. I I yeah. feel like. Yeah. <sighs> All right, now look, I'm gonna do something really edgy. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you no. gave them a chance to play play another fifty moves, right? Yes. Yeah. This also right. reminds me of Title Tuesday when like a game goes super long and you're like, just make the draw and people intentionally play the fifty moves and they push a pawn or you get one more trade or something. Yeah, I wouldn't take the pawn, I'm just make the draw. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking yeah. the pawn. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Yeah. Well, I, I, th I think it was always a draw though. I don't think we're ever in real danger, but I don't know. I'm gonna run the Russian quickly, I'll be right back. Yeah, I also have to, but I guess we're going to go to a break, so. Um, that was interesting. We're Solid. Coming to everyone in five. By the way, uh, that food mixed with that microphone is, is, is tough. It's very intense on the ear. <laughs> so if, if there's a way to, I'll, like, I'll put... the microphone away. Yeah, just a I'll little bit, just a little away. bit. It was, uh, yeah. I was trying okay. to turn up my speaker because Robert's mic was so low, and it was, uh, I, you know, it was good. I, I liked hearing your tongue flick against noodles or whatever, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, I, I was... Uh... Okay, fair enough. Okay, okay, cool. But the food is busting, by the way. It's really good. This beef is amazing. Uh, I, I can, it, listen, I can hear, all right, we're going to go C4, uh, mm -hmm. and we're going to hopefully not go to Armageddon. So yeah, okay. Uh, I expect okay. time to move. I expect e five. Is this gonna happen yeah. again? Like we're gonna get a forty second game aborted and then maybe I don't know. I I, th I think they'll play. I think they'll play. Um, they'll play something like a probably like knight f six. So I'm guessing. That's oh, gonna right. be so. It, it's late for you. That's like it's like lunchtime here, but for you it's like late. I forgot. Yeah. You know? Uh, are they gonna abort? This is so stupid. Is it gonna happen again? Probably. Oh my god. What? It... Hello? Oh, they made a move okay. finally. Okay, let's go. Let's beat them. Knight c3? Yes, sure. Absolutely. There's like some meta strategy as to what whether you should play knight f3 or knight c3, but I like playing knight c3. I well, knew it. You said, you said they play King's Indian, so I assume this means you have some great prop. Uh, well, not necessarily, but uh, I'm going to go... Uh, yeah, go for it. Do you care about E4 or D4? I literally don't care. All right. I mean, I've probably Sounds played every, every line with white and black in this position. I mean, multiple times. 
Uh, yeah, my only my only thing is that here they could play c5 or e5, at which point... Uh, no, come on. That's that's too, like, 2700 level ch trust. No way. Fabiano or... or, or um, Fabiano or, like, I could see Wesley doing it, but not, not, th not these guys. So, I have two lines here that I like. Uh, sure. One is much... I like h3, bishop e3. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have dabbled in four pawns attack, so... Wow. Okay, I have not looked at the four pawns in probably a good 20 years. Um, okay, so we should go h3, bishop e3. <laughs> I mean, no, but I mean, it's, it's up to you. Like, you gotta learn something. Like, I'm not gonna learn anything from this, so it's up to you. What do you want to do? Like, it, that's what I said. Like, you, you pick the I, open, because, like, if you're gonna gain something from it, that's much more important. I feel much more, uh, confident in myself supporting, uh, creating ideas in h3, bishop e3. Okay, <laughs> so, then go for h3. Yeah, then just do it. I, I mean, it's about you learning. It's not about me. I like. I'm, I mean, all right. But anyway, and, and, and the chat, and the chat, and the chat, and the chat. The chat also has to learn. So, um, yeah. So now, e five, d five, a five, like g four stuff. This is. Uh, yep. I like this stuff a lot. Okay. okay they're gonna play c six. Okay. Show me your best stuff, Lobby. Uh, I mean, you see, can't go wrong here. No, C6, I'm actually, I'm not too familiar with. Um, I mean, I would just go Bishop D3 or G4 or Knight E2, so. I think, I think G4 is generally wrong if you don't have the E5, D5 structure. Um, Interesting. Oh, there you go. I think if you have E5, D5, G4 is generally always acceptable, but if you go G4 here, I don't think they have to go E5. I think they're going to go A6 and B5, actually. Let's see, so um, C so but it's your I mean, call. if you want to play g4 go for it you can also go g4 and bishop g2 potentially as well um but uh just, but, just your choice but, no but after c6 like is it bad to turn it back into a knight f3 and just regular i, I mean i believe knight f3 is the correct move or, or the best line but yeah it's just i mean whatever makes most sense to you no, C six is rare. I I I, I had a feeling Naradinsky was gonna. Yeah, he love he loves this. Uh... Oh, so he's gonna play knight six. So it's just gonna go back into regular stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, knight six. Uh, trying to remember knight six. He's gonna go. D, we're gonna get e five d five. I think bishop b three is still acceptable, but it, it's really it's really your choice because I, I mean I want you to yeah I I want you to get the most out of this game. Didn't you basically invent this opening? Invent the King's Indian? Yeah, yeah. No, of course not. No. no Did you have? Uh... No, no I, but I, actually, I, know, I, know, I, know. I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever looked at this book, but actually, the reason that I played the King's Indian is when I was a, when I was a very little kid, uh, when I was first starting out, there was a book that I that I basically read cover to cover, like I had my magnetic chess set. I went over every game from this Kasparov book. I think it was written by Raymond Keene. It was this like pink book. It was like Kasparov and the King's Indian. Of course, it wasn't written by him. Yeah, D five, uh, obviously. D five, yep, D five. But but yeah, it was like a pink. It was a pink book with Kasparov's face. It was like all his Kings Indian games. And like when I was really young, I had his magnetic chess set with like the piece that you move. And so I would like look at the book, make the moves on the board, and and um, that's actually one of the ways that I learned the opening, which sounds just like absolutely silly in twenty twenty four. But back then, wasn't so crazy. Uh, against this, do you do you castle or should is it worth playing G three or is F five way too dangerous? I believe that in this position, if you play g3 with the bishop on d3, it's not correct. With the bishop on f1, g3 is always a line. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to play like... I think you're supposed to castle into it, but I could be crazy. I think with the pawn on c7, it's very dangerous. But I think with the pawn on c6, f5 is not supposed to be great here. I think if you castle f5, there might even be c5 potentially. That's another thing that I've learned with using computers over the years. All these big attacks that look really scary. They're also very rarely actually scary if, if you know if, if you know what you're doing. Like when I was young, I would have yep. thought this was gray for black. I I always tend to think this is like great for black and blitz games un until it's not, and then you realize that you uh, you could have done a lot better. Okay. Um. Okay. Obviously, you don't take the knight. That's big yeah, mistake. yeah, yeah. That's that's. I, I mean, but do you care about the bishop? Like, is a three before something? Is is what is uh? Do you... I think I have the pawn. On, I'm trying to remember the pawn structure. The pawn on c six versus c seven. My instinct is that bishop c two is correct, but I think a three is also playable. I think a three might be actually completely acceptable here. 
A3, on C6. Knight D3, Queen D3, F5 is, is never a concern, B. yeah. And, and I think you just go B4. I don't think this is scary. Like, it looks very scary optically, but I think it's supposed to be good for white. Yeah. I would, uh, I, I would not care if my bishop got taken, but I'm... I don't know. And there's no, there's never anything on h3, because we can... Uh, I feel like we've played this move every game we've had white in this event. Uh, King h2, yay or nay, like, ever? Depends on what they do. My, my instinct is that probably nay. I mean, the only word, because also if you go king h2, there might be g5, g4 without f5. I mean, but this is clearly a Dania. I mean, Robert yeah, does yeah. not play the Indian. Yeah, that's what I Robert that's what I figured. Professional. That's what I um, that's no. what I figured. Um Kings and E is a great opening as long as you get to attack. But when you don't get to attack, that's when it becomes uh very annoying and it's not fun at all. Because you, you go into the game playing Kings and E ready for an exciting game, and there are many ways your opponent can just play a very positional line and you don't get an attack, and then you're just wondering why did I do this? I still feel like below 24, 2300 ish area, uh, it's completely like it, 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 it doesn't matter if people are engine prepped, you can still get a game. Um, By the way, Levy, I, I vaguely I, I just realized something. I feel like, did you do a video where you claimed the Kings and he was losing by force? Uh, no, no, no. It was the opposite. It was like you could play it against everything and then somebody pre moved uh, it and then they lost to a fried liver or something. Oh, uh, okay. I, maybe my chat lied to me. I could have sworn my chat said something like, Levy said the Kings and he was losing by force. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, maybe okay. I said at top level, White could get some sort of advantage. Uh, but no. No, chat is stupid. Okay, so Rook B1, or do we do we ever play for an F4 in this in I this think with the, knight on, with the Knight on A6, I think actually, uh, I feel for whatever reason, like, yes, yeah, somehow you're supposed to stop the, the, the pawn march on the King... King side, like I think maybe knight d two f five f four is one idea. That's what I was, yeah. So knight d two and yeah, but I mean even even f five f three f four bishop f two g five might be okay because you can walk the king like you can move the rook to b rook f b one g five king one h five king e two maybe even yeah yeah walk okay. the king this way. Uh, and w we don't play f five f four yeah because that just plays into black's hands. I mean. Hard to judge, because if you go f4, they're going to play ef4, bishop f4, g5, bishop h2, f4. Mm, it's mm. kind of bad. I actually think if you go f3, we're, we're just completely fine. And mainly, yeah. I think we're completely fine, because knight on a6 is wrong. If the knight were on f6 here, I'd be very scared. But I think the knight on a6 here is a big liability in the long term for black. But we'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong. Because you're going to go b4 at some point. And this is also very nice. It's a very free-flowing position. Like, black has one idea, but your idea is simple. Like, if they go f4, rook f f4, bishop f2, g5, rook f b1, h5, king f1, g4 takes six, king e2, you're playing for b4 and playing on that side of the board. Yeah, I like that's that's it, it actually does look terrifying, but as long as you know rook f b1 and then put the king on e2, it's uh how do they even like what do they do? I don't even understand. Like, it looks really nice for white. I mean, I I do to won a game like this last year where he mm -hmm. did exactly this i can't remember if it was like european blitz european championship or something but that's exactly how he won yeah 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 no i mean i, I think it's it's completely acceptable it looks really scary but the knight's just on the wrong side of the board but again if you don't play the king's indian a lot you're probably not going to know that but because i played the king's indian so much i just know that the knight's just way off sides on a6 here so see what they do let's see let's see All yep, right. of course. I mean, the only other idea I see here is Bishop F. Okay, they're going to go for it. So I assume you play Rook F B1, right? Yeah, I don't see any other move. Yeah, I mean, this looks completely fine to me. Rook F B1 or just yeah. King F1, King yeah, E2? Yeah, King F1, King E2. King I'm F1, just play like a bomb cloud. King F1, King E2 is also probably fine even... Okay, so King F1, right? I mean... Obviously. Yeah, if you don't, we're, we're going to get made. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is not... Uh... No, but the thing is, even if they go g4, g3, probably you can play bishop... I don't know, maybe even bishop e1 is okay. I don't know if you want to go to e1, but you probably can. You can also even just trade all the pawns and go knight f3 potentially as well. Like hg yeah. yep. and, and knight f3. But I mean, probably, I, I think if we're sticking with the theme, king e2 makes more sense, probably. Maybe. Mm, I see, yeah, and then they no, can actually, sack on... No, actually, no, sorry, sorry, I had a thought. After I'm, I'm an idiot. After g4, we shouldn't trade. Because if you go hg, hg, king e2, there's g3, bishop g1, queen h4, queen h1. 
But after g4, just king e2, and then if g3, bishop g1, there's no entry. You keep the file closed. And losing the pawn on h3 is okay, because we have rook h1. You probably win then, because the g file opens yeah, up as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, very it, dang stuff. Is it... Is it crazy to be worried about, like, queen h4, bishop h3, gh, queen h3, leaving and then promoting? Like, is that... It's too slow, right, with the king on e2? Because I guess we, we always get over there. I mean, but... it should be too slow, but it is a legitimate idea that they could go for. But also, there's another problem that if they go queen h4, you always have knight b5 to hit the pawn on d6. Yep. I mean, it's a strange position here. I mean, I think... I was also wondering, yeah, g4... Yeah, g4 is what they'll play, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean... If not, what the hell do they do? <laughs> like, right, because like, we're, we're just going to go king e2. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, once we get the pawn to b4, we don't want to go b5. Because then, I, I mean, unless we have a... Okay, so rook f6. I would just go king e2. But yeah, I don't rook know f6 that's... is a terrible move. Yeah, just king e2. Because now they lose g4, too. Because g4, you bishop h4. Ah. Uh, yep. Okay, so what? Rook g6, obviously. That right, the but the point, point is, but the point now after rook g6, rook h1, g4, you can maybe even just take and go bishop h4 again. Or even if you let them get g3, they're too slow now on, on the on the king side, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, this looks very strange to me. This doesn't look right at all. Um, To me, like, mm -hmm. now that we're here, uh, I, I mean, okay, so... I was gonna say like g4 hgg and just fighting for the rook uh, for the h file at some point in the future also looks okay, but um, I, I, no no no. But if you go b4 g4, we're in trouble. I mean we're 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 in some trouble. I think. Yeah. No, I mean I, I what I don't understand here is after rook h1. I mean, do they really want to trade all the rooks off? Like I, I that's why I, I don't understand this at all. Rook h1, yeah. Yeah, rook h1, and what's the big deal? No, because. Um... I was going to wait for g4, take, take, rook h1, but I guess you're saying after that they would trade, play g3. Well... No, after rook h1, they would... Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we could have done it. But if you play b4, we're right. too slow. No, no. Cause... Yeah, because yeah, the rook can't guard everything. But I, I was just wondering, like, we had to do something. So rook h1 is probably fine. And now... No, now... But but, but now you know what, what they're kind of... Now there's a question here, which is... Do you want to try to win the game? Uh, Preferably... <laughs> okay, then, then there's another idea here that they probably aren't aware of, which is you can play rook g1 here, followed by rook a g1, followed by g3 potentially, and try to attack on the king side now. Oh, this I is, like this, that. This, That's because now, now, now again, the knight on a6 is out of play, and they're they're like you know what it is? it's completely different. There's a game I played against none other than Anish Giri and Reggio Emilia in 2011, I think it was. And I, I got the same sort of thing where it was a King's Indian, but his king was on the king side. And there was some moment where he was supposed to go King H1 and G3, and I, it was completely fine because I didn't have a knight on the king side. Now, it's different It's because different the king's in the center of the board and the knight's on A6, but it's very reminiscent of there's no knight on the king's side in this King's Indian. So this idea of playing G3 and trying to take, take the bull by the horns actually makes a lot of sense here. Knight C7? I mean, their only plan is Knight C7 and A6, B5, right? Like, that is it. Well, I mean, they, they have a choice. Well, the thing, though, is G3, G3 is very scary here, though. Like, G3 or G4. Like, because knight c7, G4, then you're threatening to maybe even go h4 at some moment, too. So like, you're saying, so you're saying if knight c7, G4 for us is, is okay, because if they lock the position, we rotate, and then we just play b4. Right. So, yeah. So queen f6, okay. So, I mean, yeah, it depends what you want to do. Like, we can, we can play g4 or not play g4. It's, it's your decision. My, my gut instinct is, G4, is g4 is probably very good, just because the knight on a6 is wrong. So G4, FG, we, FG we would G3. take rook G3. H4 is never scary because we just slide back. Right. No, after, but yeah, because there's no, there's no knight getting to F4. So yeah, yeah. if they take, you take rook F8, bishop E3, rook G6, rook H G. I mean, it looks good to me. I, I would play it. You're going to get content, I think. I think you're going to get a rook sack, maybe. No, oh, that's, that's, you know, that's all, that's all we need. Uh, why G4 and not G3, out of curiosity? Like, maybe give I'm them an idiot. Maybe I'm actually an idiot. Yeah, I, I think maybe that's better. But but here you're threatening to play H. Okay, rook G three. You're threatening to play H four anyway because take six and the knight goes to F three. Yeah. Ah. He, do you mean rook sack as in like for the light squared bishop and then put a knight on F five? Like is that? Yes. Or or put a bishop. Yes. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you figure okay. it out. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, that's pretty gank. You mean, I mean, you would play H4, you wouldn't go Rook G4 right away, but I mean, that would be sort of the, the point. You know, funny thing is Rook G4 right away is probably okay. Actually. It's probably H4, like the top Rook engine G4, move. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. probably like the top <laughs> move of the engine. Um, that's funny. No, I think it's it's quite quite okay. Wow. Man, they're making such odd moves. Like to me, it was so, I thought you just had to go Knight C7 and play for B5 just to create some chaos, but I guess it's like never working, but... I mean, the, the simple answer is that probably they, uh, they, I mean, Dan has played the Kings and although I don't think he's played it. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's played it his whole career. And I suspect they just don't realize that structurally, because this knight is on the wrong side of the board, it, it's this G, G3 or G4 idea is very, very dangerous, potentially. Right. Right, right, right. Um, I think these moves are... I mean, they seem pretty natural, like rook g1, bishop e3, uh, you even said h4 in many positions. Well, here you're not going to play h4, probably, because then g4 and both the Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just sort of like, also, yeah, which knight... knight e3 is an idea, yeah. Which, yeah, I was going to say, which knight is... I, I, to me, knight f1, knight e3 seems way more natural, but I don't know if this knight... Um, I, th I think it depends on whether the f-pawn is too weak if you move the knight on d2 away. Like, if there's a g4 and an h4. Yeah. Okay. We're up so much time here. It's crazy. That's one of the reasons, actually, I wanted to play for a win, because I, I just felt like defending this with two minutes, it's reminiscent of the Armageddon, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, mean, I, I think mainly it's just, as I said before, I just because I played the Kings in my whole career, the knight on a6 is just on the wrong side of the board. And that's something that, like, in a Blitz game, doesn't matter at all. Like, you can play with the knight on a6, but in a classical game, or if your opponent's really good and they understand the structure a little bit better, it's probably not all that wonderful. Um, in your experience, is Danya one of the better defenders with low time? Um, I would, it depends on the position, but I would say generally if it's tactical, I think he's, like, if they're tactical resources, he's a great defender. If it's, like, very positional... I think he struggles sometimes. I, I think anything that's tactical is, plays much more to his strengths than position, positional chess. Of course, obviously, it's relative. He's, very, very, he's a very good positional player, too. Um, but I think when he gets low, he's much better with their tactical resource. Like, this is a position that I think Daniel would like to play with low time. <laughs> that's, why they're, that's why they're lowering their, uh, their, their time. Uh, exactly, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you ever talked about this. I mean, we're going to have to make a move soon because they're going to move. But do you feel like Daniel could have been 2700 FIDE if not for college and stuff? Or is that um, tough to say? Oh, speaking of, we got to make a move. So we'll save the compliments. Okay, they, they want Rook G6. So I guess the idea is they want to play G4. Now, question is if you go Knight D1, G4, H D H D Knight E3, Rook F8, I mean, at the very least, you have Knight F5 and you can never lose the game. So, I, I mean, to me, Knight D1 looks like the obvious move here, but. Again, it's your your call. I would play knight d1 here because basically the point that I that I that I'm envisioning like in my mind is I'm envisioning that if you get a knight to f5, even if they win a pawn, you can pop the other knight on e4, and then c5, d6, and g5 are all very very weak. And any alternatives to knight d1 like just rook g1? I'm worried or... that on rook g1 they're going to go rook f8 followed by g4. That's what I'm really worried about. Like I feel like we desperately need to get the knight over. Like, I feel like everything here is move by move. Um, I mean, okay. all, again, it's your call. But I think 91, 93, 9 at 5, and you can never lose at the very least. Yeah. I've just... I want to sit on my hands for a second just, just to throw out if there's anything else. There's just been moments that I'm like, okay, I can play the move that Hikaru said, but maybe maybe there's an idea we're not seeing, but... No, I, th yeah. I think Rook G1, Rook G1, Rook G1, Rook F8, Bishop E3 is playable. The, the reason that I, the other reason I like Knight D1, Knight D3, Knight F5 more is because it just takes any chance of us missing something tactical out of the equation. That's the reason I like it more. It's not so much that it's the best move. Like, I bet that Rook G1, Rook F8, Bishop E3, G4, H, G, F, G, F, G, Queen, H4, King D1 is okay. But again, yeah. there, there is some risk there that we could lose. And also the other thing that I think I'm very good at, um, not to toot my own horn, is like in a position like this, when you're way up on time, one of the things you want to do is you look for good moves, but also moves that there aren't like obvious replies to. Like they don't get to just play every move in like five seconds, like obvious moves. But if you see something else, just tell me what you're thinking. No, I mean, yeah, my, my only suggestion was, was going to be there, there, Bishop E3, G4, but that, that is total chaos. I mean, at that point, I will be doing a lot of holding hands uh, as opposed mm -hmm. to... Yeah, I mean, if, if knight d1, and there's no, 
Knight d1, rook f. The line that I was saying, yeah, it was knight d1, rook f8, knight e3, g4, hgh, knight f5. And I, I just don't see how you can ever lose that position. So bishop f5, um, ef, queen f5. Queen f5, takes, takes, fg. Probably, probably you take with the rook or the pawn, I don't know. I think you probably take with a pawn, and then, well, then there's rook f4, maybe. Rook g4, rook g4, takes, takes, e4. Rook f4, rook g1, e4, bishop. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's good, though, because you, you trade all the rooks, you go rook g1, and then bishop e3, and you can't... I don't think you can really be in any danger there, but... It's your call. Yeah. Um, I think both moves are fine. Rook g1, rook f8, bishop e3, g4. And, um... Yeah, I, uh... Simplicity is, is good. I am... Um, I would also like to play the practical move as opposed to just sending us into the chaos. Because the point is, like, this light square bishop is terrible. Like, unless you can get the diagonal to bishop on g4, this is just terrible. Okay. Yeah, like, 93, of, I mean, only move, of course, because you've, you've already done this. Yep. Now, g4, do we have any... We can't take fg. Well, you could play knight of 5 Well, knight of 5 is going to be a transposition, probably. Yeah, I was thinking, like, do we have hg, hg, something... Rook Rook G1, maybe? Yeah, HGH, yeah. Rook G1, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Somehow reverse it back on them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, this is just something that I know because I've played my, my, the King's Inny my whole, my whole mm. life. But can I go there? Um, yeah, like here, for example, like this is the thing. Like Rook G1 followed by Knight F5 to me looks very, very strong. There's no chance of us ever losing. I mean, it doesn't mean we're going to win either. Uh, if you want chaos, you could play b4 here potentially. If you want chaos, um, but I'm worried that on b4 they're going to play b5, and then everything's going to get really messy with them putting a bishop on b5 in that diagonal. Uh, rook g1 b5. What is? I guess we yeah, just. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of, yeah, I'm mildly concerned about that actually. Um, but actually, rook g1 b5. Why can't you just go b3 there? Yeah. Just, okay. B3 is another option. I was just going to say, can we, can we just get total chaos with like knight f5? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, it's like the question here is do you like knight f5, b5, b3, for example, I think is completely fine. Um, like it's. Can we um somehow defend our f2 bishop like bishop e1 and now g4 is not as good anymore because we can just like win the pawn? Yeah, the, the only problem is if you play bishop e1, there's no actual threat. Like you're never threatening to go h4. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah. That's, that's the only problem. Like the, the idea I see is rook g1 with knight f5 to pressure the pawn. Um, or knight f5 first. Bo both lines, I think, are completely fine, but it's your call. I mean, okay. yeah, I, I look, I like rook g1. I don't think, yeah, of course yeah, they're I think going... I'm, I'm b5, just b3, I think is fine. Just simple chess. Yeah, so there I would just be really scared. I would like, you know, I'd start getting ghosts with rook b8 coming, but I guess you even have rook b1, right? Like, it's... Mm -hmm. Okay. But you also have knight f5, which is a huge problem, too. Yeah, I mean, as, yeah. Gary, as Gary Chess would say, knight on f5 is worth No, no, I know, I know. But with the rook on b2, I would panic and I would find, you know, I, but it, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I mean, there's no... Also, black can't get any piece into the game. Okay, so Yeah, b... yeah I, I think uh, b3, they're going to go a5 maybe. They might try it. I didn't think about that, but still, it should be fine. I wouldn't be worried. I would uh, just play b3. I mean, I feel like we need to press them on the clock. If they get bc4, bishop b5, it's going to get very, very chaotic. How? What about a5, bishop e1 with the idea to play h4? Like, is that stupid? I still think g4 is going to be a big... Because basically after g4, there's always bishop h6. Like, it might be uh, fine if we look at move by move, but conceptually it's dangerous. So it's like a situation where conceptually it feels wrong. Oh, they oh they went for this. Okay, well, I mean... Rook g4? Well, you have knight g4, rook g4. Both moves are playable. I mean, <laughs> it depends how badly you want to win and how badly you want content, so... Uh, would you play rook g4? If I were playing here, yes, I, I, I almost certainly would. Yeah. I mean, I... I mean, okay. you gotta go for content. This is not a serious event. You gotta go for content. I, I would go rook g4. The only thing I'm concerned of is a knight getting to f6 in the future, but I guess that's pretty far in well, the future. The, so. the question is that they take, do we take with the pawn or not? That's also a big question that's not obvious. Okay. Just, uh, of course you take with the pawn, I assume. Yeah, I also assume. Otherwise, knight b5 yeah. looks really yeah, bad. Yeah, no, this, this looks great, though. Like, I, I think positionally, this bishop on g7 is so bad here. Ugh. Okay, and now you take with the h pawn, I assume, and go knight f5. Like, Interesting. Not rook g4. 
I'm worried that on Rook G4, Rook B8. I mean, yeah, me, me too. Rook but... B8, Knight of Five. No, I mean, it's very complicated here. Rook G4 is, I actually, you know, the more I look at this, I mean, the thing is, I'm worried that Knight is going to get to H5. I really am. Yeah, I mean, I would take with a pawn, go Knight F5. I mean, I just play it positionally. Yeah, I mean, um... I, I think this is fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You're not worried about the H pawn. <laughs> Well, the H-pawn's not really rolling, is it? I mean, is it? I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, what do you want to play? Like, Knight of 5's good. Rook B1's good. Um, Knight of 5 looks completely acceptable to me. Yeah, I, I like, I like Knight of 5. And you would... Uh, we want that Rook trade, yeah? Like, we're not... We, we, I mean, our Rook's Depends. not going to come alive any other way. Depends. So. Long term, as I think about it, it's more the Knight on C7 is very poor, actually. It's a very, very badly placed piece, right? Yeah. Where does it go? It's going to go to b6. Is that the idea? I'm, I'm wondering if you can reroute your, your bishop somehow, but I also feel like we have to move quicker. Like, I, I've yeah. kind of been wondering about like rook b1, for example. Yeah, I think rook b1 and then bishop b3, and just, and then it's, it's really hard for me to believe this can be bad. Really hard for me to believe. You take with the queen, yeah? Probably. Sorry, not probably, of course. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, because I, I mean, otherwise, like some sort of. Mm -hmm. Logical move by them. I assume you go like. Well, I was thinking they were going to try to bring the rook over. I mean, bishop e3 and knight b3. The only question is, do you want to play knight b3? But I think bishop e3 first is just a. I like. I mean, I, yeah, I like. I like targeting the pawn. It seems fine to me. The only problem I realize that we have here is that like we also don't have moves. That's the problem. Like we we don't have obvious moves either. This feels kind of like some kind of weird zugzwang almost. Like neither side can do anything. Yeah, but their moves right. look depressing, so. I think that's maybe a mistake, potentially. Um, I'm wondering about Rook B5 here. I maybe. also was wondering about Rook B5. If you were wondering about it, then just do it. Uh, A6? Just Rook Does... B3 back, I think. Because the point is, if you get A6, Rook B3, Queen B1, you're going to get the trade. And Knight G7 is not a problem, because you take with the E-pawn and you flood the Knight on yep. E4. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think I think yeah. So I would go back to B three here. Now now you're gonna go Queen Queen B one, and it's a very it's a very very strange position. I don't really know what's going on. Or I almost think it's probably just a draw. Actually, like I think both sides are almost stuck. Is there any way to get the D two knight to H <laughs> three? Like yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. You could go B one C three if you could, but yeah. No, it it yeah, it seems fortressy. Like I, wow. Logical. So what are their th what are again? I'm, oh, if you go rook b five, they're going to go knight c seven, aren't they? But I still think you kind of have to. That's the only problem. Or could you? Um, could they go knight b six? Then you put the rook on b five. I'm just. Whew, it's tough. Um, queen b one, rook b six, and then what is the problem? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're right. I wish we could put this knight on h <laughs> three. But I, I don't think we can quite get it there. No, if they play rook I mean, b6, queen b8, yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah, like... my, my gut instinct is that rook b5 and probably just take the draw, but. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait a second. No, wait. They can trade and go knight b6. Never mind. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait a second. I, I'm insane. Um, no, no. I'm, I'm actually insane. Wait a second. What am I thinking? Um, no, pro pro probably here what I would do is I would probably go queen c3 to take away the diagonal first. Take okay. away any queen a5, so they play knight b6, uh, there might be a queen a5. I want to probably yeah. push the king one square closer just to make sure h3 is never really a threat. Yeah, I want to also stay up on clock, so... Okay. Getting them to tank is is good. Right, but see, now I thought there was maybe... Queen a5. Uh, queen a5 or a4, maybe? Queen a5, what? Queen a5 or queen b8... And then takes queen b6, queen a4. Yeah, I, I would just go queen a5 here. I would just, just go. Let's, let's just play quickly on clock. Yep. Let's try to press some hard. Queen a4 first. Absolutely. Is there absolutely. I like it. Okay. Pre move knight b3. Yes, absolutely. Because then the knight's going to a5 and c6, actually. Yeah. Your, your knight's getting very, very good suddenly. Um, okay, that's probably a good move. Um, I don't know. If I were playing, I'd probably go like king f2 or something just to make sure there's no. There's no H pawn trickery somewhere, let's, but that's just me. Let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, I'm like. Okay, there's still no threat. I mean, okay, let's think for a second. If you trade the rooks, 
How's he taking? He can't take with the queen. He has to take with the knight. Only move and then queen a6. Ooh, this is looking very dangerous. I would trade and go queen a6. This looks very dangerous, actually. Okay. And like the reason I'm telling you it looks dangerous is because now I think the knight's going in. I think your knights go, your these knights are really good. Yeah, like queen a6 and the knight b3, knight a5. And I think it's very scary for black. Yeah. Very scary. Yeah, I was looking at queen c6, but I think it's way too early to trade. But queen c6... It, it yeah. doesn't work, but yeah, it doesn't work probably, but you're right. His pieces are so cramped that it's very dangerous. Yeah, if this h-pawn is not an h4, it's like definitely winning. Like right, all those agreed. end games. Yeah, but yeah. Looks... I don't understand. Yeah, but now knight b3, and now, now all the boys come to the party, right? Yep, bishop b7, they're gonna go. No, no, that, wait, what? The knight a5, knight c6? I mean... No, no, I know, but I'm just saying, like, that's probably their move. I don't know. I, I can't think of anything else. Also, a4, a5 we have after knight c6. This is why you play for content, Levy. Okay, but, I mean, what's the, is there an actual threat here? No, right? So, do you, do you want to go to g1 or g2? Like, I, I don't even know which... My gut says g1 is right just to dodge any funny, funny checkery somehow. I, that's probably not even a word, but whatever. <laughs> uh yeah i would yeah, actually probably... actually actually you know you kind of have to because otherwise if they get h3 h2 they're going to go h3 h2 queen h7 queen h3 and mate you mate you from um mate, mate you on the on the f1 okay and that, that's five of course i assume yeah, yeah this is very scary five queen b5 we have two also like queen e8 stuff yep well they're probably going to go queen c8 and force queen b5 if i had to guess I can't believe we don't have a tactic. Like it's, but I guess like you said, it's chess. It's never over. Yeah. Queen b5. No, no, it's never over. Yeah, queen b5, of course. But I don't think we can ever lose this position either. It's a matter of whether we can win it. And I, I suspect that we are winning here, by the way, in the long term. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so wait. No, knight c6 or rook b7. So probably here it's better to like take a breather and figure out what 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 do we want here is the question. Still not easy to break through. I mean, I still feel like king h2 and just like slowly trying to improve the position makes sense, but maybe not. I don't know. Queen d7, we just, we can... I see. No, no, I see. There's actually... Yeah, queen d7 might be dangerous. Hmm. All right, we got to make That's a move. Not easy. Yeah, I'm probably just go king h2 and just like... Just go king h2 and just try to relax and, and keep the position slow. Like queen d7, knight c6, rook b7, queen a6... Knight c6, of course. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yep. Is there like, can we go back and sack on g5? Possibly. Probably not. Um, because takes queen e3, king g6, but it, it's an idea. And no, because if you go back, there's knight takes d5. No, no, I know. I yeah, I'm just saying, I see that. <laughs> but like right now, queen b3, bishop g5. Ooh, now it's Ooh. check. Ooh, wait, that looks like a a4. How do you do it? A4, rook b7 is what they want. Yeah. But then queen a5, queen a6? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be something here that we're missing. But I, I would probably just go a4 and just keep, keep pressing. I think it makes sense. Can we bring the bishop back to like... Okay, I'm going to play Go a4. to d2? I, yeah. Oh, no, like... bishop d2 is probably a good move. Ah, uh, maybe. Rook b7 still. Queen a6, I assume. Like... Yeah. I mean, knight, knight a5 also was just like a draw. I mean, at least, right? Like... Maybe, maybe. Probably not because they trade to go rook b8, rook a8, and a6, but. With a knight on it? Oh, maybe, maybe. All right. Okay, now okay, now you can make a draw with knight a5 if you want to. The question is, is there more or not? And I'm, unfortunately, I'm not seeing it necessarily. I mean, because a5, knight d7. I mean, bishop d2, knight d7, bishop a5, knight b8 is one other idea. Bishop d6. Yeah, it depends how hard you want to try to win. If you want to try to win, bishop d2 is the move, I, I think. But if you if you want to make the draw, it's knight a5. Like, knight a5 is a safe way to make the draw. But... I would play for a win. <laughs> okay, okay. No, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, no, I have no problem with that. Absolutely. Oh, was, there, was there, like, a bishop c5? No, I don't think so. And, like, an a5? I guess not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Knight c8? There might be a knight e5 trick here. He goes there. Wait, so... Bishop... Oh... Oh, great. Did we blunder? We have king h3. Okay, I, I think, I mean, bishop a5. Yeah, but they're going to go rook b2 and uh, rook b... Uh, I, I think you have to... Oh, man, I think we messed this up. Um, yeah, you, you got to go. You got to make a move. Um, I don't know, bishop a5 is a move, but yeah. they've got rook b2, which is a big problem. King h3? 
Yeah, but then Queen B. Wait, what? No, no, wait, wait. This is the wait, 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 wait a second. No, can't you just take and take D six? I'm going for it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's the only try anyway. So pre move Bishop D six, of course. There's no Bishop D eight, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, D6. King G six. I mean, we have to try to use the pawns. I mean, it's probably is no good, but uh, let's see. Pre move. Yeah. Okay. Um. King. What? Uh. I guess go to a I don't know. I mean, it's... Uh, rook f2 is not a problem? Takes, takes... No, I'm worried about knight b4, actually. I, I have a feeling king... You have to go to one of the squares, and I don't know which one's right. Uh, I would yeah. probably go to g... I don't know. I wouldn't go to h3, but just that's just my gut instinct. Let's just go to g1. All right. Trying to figure out what squares the knights belong on here. Knight b4 is coming. Right, that is knight before probably just knight f5. I'm guessing, but I don't know. Yeah, we mess we mess this up. There's also knight e8 check, by the way. Yeah, knight before probably knight e8. Yeah, knight before knight e8 is obviously the move. I think, not obviously the move, but I'm pretty sure it's got to be the only move. Okay, knight e8. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go, go. They go. might make a draw. I mean, they might yeah, make a draw. It's, they probably will knight e6. Yeah. No, I think they might have to because if they lose e5 to the h pawn's not enough. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's very risky to play on here for I feel like both sides. <sighs> I feel like. Yeah, I think they. I mean, I they. I I don't think either of us can really go for it. Yep. It's too risky. Let's see. Seven doesn't. Would... No, 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 just make the draw. Yeah, it's too risky. Yeah, I mean, we should have been winning this game somehow, I feel like. Maybe maybe we should have got... I think knight f5 was best, by the way, to stop the h4. Because if we'd gone knight f5, there never would have been that rook sack thing. Yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Whoa, okay. Whoa, but now you take e5? Yep. No, I mean, this is insane. Knight, knight f5 and d6, what, what's going on here? Knight maybe e. I'm stupid. Knight f5 and d6. Your knight guards f3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what are they do? I mean, maybe they can still draw, but there's no way they're... There's just no way that they're winning this. No, I think they forgot that the knight on e5 guards f3. d6, obviously. Like, I mean, I guess they can still probably force a draw somehow, but... We take back with the g-pawn, yeah? I mean, it looks way better. It looks correct. Um... Yeah, probably just... Well, king g2 is our trick. I mean, king f2 instinctively feels right, but I, I yeah, I think king f2 is right. Because if h3, you go king g3 and you're fine. Rook h1. But we have there. time. I can play king f2. I mean, I, I... Uh, basically, what I'm saying is if you go to g2, I think there's a knight e2, knight f4 check to gain a tempo um, on the king. Yeah, I think f2 I mean, is correct. Yeah. Uh, we're making the draw. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's wait. Well, okay. Yeah, it's king e3, you're going to lose. Yeah, king g1, just make the draw. I think, wait, wait, wait. G... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it was... It's repetition anyway, but I'm just... So there's knight e2, knight g3. That's why I wasn't sure. Ah, but it, it was also last move, too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's... Such a tricky position. Yeah, I king up to and make the draw, I guess. Well, it's our last moment to not make the draw, so. Yeah, I, I mean, I probably should have just overruled you and said go knight f5 rather than, rather than rook g1. But, I mean, they, fa they found h4, and I think probably Whoa. sack. Oh, my God. Okay, okay they want to go on? Okay. Um, so, let's see. If we look at this position, I mean... Okay, so wait, what's the idea? If you play d7, what's their move? Rook d... I mean... What's the idea? I'm confused. If you go d7... Oh, it's still very tricky, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to go d7, right? I mean, unless there's some other move that you see? No, I don't see another move. I mean, there's knight d7, too. Yeah, I... I okay. King... I mean, king g1, of course, because if you go forward, there's rook d2. I mean the knight the, the rook is the, the knight stopping the pawn temporarily. King G one, yeah. Mm -hmm. King E three just they promote. I mean there's no yeah, way. Yeah, I think to... there's H three, H two, there's no way, no way to save it. Yeah, I assume F two is correct, yeah. Wait, yeah, I think F two is correct. King G one. 
trying to think if there's any way not to make this draw, but I don't. No, but I mean, if we don't go to G1 or off, I mean, if we don't go to G1, we're going to lose the game, I think. Yeah, yeah, there's no way to get rid of the knight on E6. For now. Okay, but they're, yeah, they're just... very... Mm -hmm. they're, they're very they're very intent on playing on so they might not even repeat here so yeah i mean the problem is i just don't know how you're supposed to play on easily yeah rook d2 is the move that i thought they might play but i thought there was is there no trick here wait so but first things first the king can't move the knight can't move nothing can move right so if you play like King H one, what is or King H one or A five? What is their what is their next move actually? I Can I play A five? I mean A five looks Sure, go for it. If you like it, go for it. I think it might be wrong, but it's it's fine. <laughs> uh, I see no difference between A five. I'm just very worried about H three, knight f four, but it doesn't okay. King H one. Like King H one, I guess. Yeah, just just chill. Why can't we play Well, because they're gonna run the king to D six and the knight's gonna stop the pawn. Yeah, I guess. Oh, you're saying yeah. You read my mind. Ninety three, king e seven, king d six. Yeah. yeah king, just h king h two. Yeah, you got to go faster. We need to press them. They'll play rook d two and then king h one probably for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's we... a very strange position. Like, I really wish we can play f four, somehow. We're gonna play it somewhere, I think, but not yet. Just a guess. Uh... Yeah, knight f5 was the move. Wait, we should have done it. Wait, knight f4? Wait, so... Wait a second. Wait okay. a second. Knight c6? No, knight c6? No. No, I mean, knight e3 was the question. No, knight e3 yeah. and knight e5? Knight e3, h3. I'm just looking at this position because I'm trying not to get confused by this. Um... Wait, if you go knight e3, what's there? Oh, they're going to go king e7. Is that the move? Knight d4. This looks very problematic. Um, I, I think you have to go knight e3. I think it's the only move. And we're getting too low on time also. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's the only yeah. move. I'm just, yeah, okay. Knight h6 was not a thing, yeah? Yeah, I think because they just go knight back to e6. I would guess knight e5, but I, I mean, I, I don't know what else there is. There, no, there's no knight f5. I don't know. I mean, we're we're low on time. Like it's. I'd go knight five. Yeah, I think we have to take with the e pawn, and then I don't know. It doesn't look good. I'll put it. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Okay. E pawn. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I think I think you have to take with the e pawn because c pawn. There's just rook c two, c four, c three. <clears throat> we're probably losing. Just so you know, but. Uh, oh, no, it, it, no, wait, no, no. Rookie two, there's ninety three, maybe. No, ninety three. It's not so easy. Ninety three. Right? Or, well, wait. What are there's also knight f seven. Wait, knight f seven takes knight g five. Rook c two. Ninety four takes g five. G six d six. Um, you decide which one do you want to go for. Uh, ninety three feels a bit okay, safer fine. to me. Okay, but... go for it. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I just feel like we're going to lose some of these pawns while winning some of their pawns. Like rookie three. Wait, what? Just knight, knight, uh, wait, 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 wait a second. 95 takes, d6, king, d8. No, there's no trick. So yeah, I mean, I guess 95 back, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to play it. Okay, knight, yeah. d3, yeah? Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, if I know anything, they're not going to repeat, so... Yeah, so go back, of course. Because now they can't go rookie two, right? Because it's a three. Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I mean, what's the deal? The king g one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't understand what they're doing actually. I mean, Isn't I do, I... but I don't. Could we have played like a d six and just kind of like? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, and like some. I guess we just lose after rookie two. We can't defend our knight. Okay, so they go king d8. So there's still no actual idea, right, after king h1? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I'd play king h1, but that's just me. 
Yeah, okay. Rookie two, we still have the same knight d3. Also knight f7 again. Like. Yeah, at least this time we hit h3. I don't know which set of pawns is better to go after. I, like, I... <laughs> okay, so now there's a question, though, whether f4 is a move or not. Or d6 is a move. Um, <sighs> there's no stalemate, right? Just to be clear. Yeah, no stalemates here. But f4 takes g5 rookie 2. I mean... Oh, you, you, you got to move, though. Just... Yeah. I don't know which move it is. I, I mean, we don't have enough time, so I would just go for it. Yeah, I would play a 4 g5. g5 yeah. yeah, I guess g5. Six rookie two knight of seven takes g six. Uh, we're gonna lose by one tempo, I think. Can I play rook at e two knight c six or no? Because rookie goes e eight. I mean, there's knight f three six d seven king. Ah, it's probably just losing. Knight yeah, maybe knight knight d three knight d three go knight d three maybe knight d three. It's losing, but oh well. <laughs> Feels losing, but I don't know. No, I mean, basically, we should have played knight f5. That was our mistake. Um, yeah, we should have played knight f5, not rook hg1. I mean, we, we probably would have won the game, but that's okay. Uh, uh, g6, g6, just go, just go. I mean, we just go. It's losing, but that's life. Um, rook knight g2, maybe there's still knight e5, though. Knight e5, maybe? I don't know. No, I mean, it's 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 losing anyway, though. 91, no, 91 doesn't work either. Yeah, it's all losing. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably, I should have overruled you. I should have said knight f5. I should have, I should have made you play knight f5, but ah, that's what it is. Instead, oh, instead of rook g1? Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's on me. Sorry. I, I, I should have just overruled you there. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. It was, uh, yeah. Uh, that's on me. I, I should have overruled you. Because, yeah, once they went to H4 and we had the sack, the exchange was still fine. But, yeah, I mean, no, they, they just queen and go queen on four, of yeah. course. Or queen yeah. two. Yeah, that's on me. Sorry. No, no, yeah, it's... I, yeah. No, no, I, I should have overruled you. I knew knight of five was the right move, and I, I, didn't, I didn't overrule you. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's GG's. It's all... Uh... It's all yeah, good. I, I, think, I, think, I think it was actually... It was, it was always losing once they were able to get the queen to be seven. The thing is, was there a tactic in the middle? Is what I'm, was there a tactic with knight e5 or bishop g5 somewhere is the question. Oh, bishop... Uh... No, it's still complicated. Everyone in five, oh. four, three... Still? Really? Two, one, and Danny, go!